Vegetarians love cheese. Yes, so did I. No. I don't like vegan cheese. I can't. It doesn't melt. <laughs> I just don't like the mozzarella in sauce. Wow. <laughs> Trey, what, what are you doing over there, dear? Now, my phone, I left it in the, you know, the little middle console. What, what kind of car do you? What kind of car do you drive, mate? So me, like I said, um, I you know the last car that I had was this uh, G thirty seven Infinity, which I gave to my son during the oh, pandemic. Yeah, yeah, pr yeah, yeah. During the pandemic, that at the beginning was somewhere in the middle. Right, we can't uh -huh. understand you speaking that way. So <laughs> during the pandemic, my my son needed a vehicle to get from point A to point B. So I said, let me get him a vehicle. I'll give him my vehicle. That way I don't have to play a note, a bloody car note again. Now, I was thinking of getting a Jaguar. But then I said, let me just sit tight. Let me just sit tight. And then the next time I get a car, I'll get something really sensy, fancy, sensy, dancy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Dre, so you're Carlos too? <laughs> yes, I am. Oh my oh, God, you don't have a car. That's now, blasphemy. My, you know, I drive, you know, my wife's uh, RAV4. Oh, I love it. I love Toyota RAV4. But, you know, I only go to the package store, so. <laughs> yeah, you got, you, got, you got to Uber everywhere else. Well, I, I don't really go nowhere. So, you know, <laughs> unless we're going together, you know, you know, by myself, that's why I've been, that's why I've been such a good mate. <laughs> that is why. <laughs> Once I get an old vehicle, it might get a little bubbly out there. <laughs> Uh, you're going to go to, to you're going to go to the uh, to the uh, to the strip club, Dre. No, I might go to the old uh, the old uh, the hell in the world joint. Uh, what is it called? Bigelow's. <laughs> you know, you got known for its famous seven dollar Hennessy's, uh, catfish, mm -hmm. collard greens. <laughs> <laughs> Old hoes. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, uh, you know, come up on a bitch's social security check, SSI, <laughs> I think that's what they call it. Uh, I'm crying. Mm -hmm. She probably happy here on no car. Right. You know, uh, she's, she's like, yes, I could keep my. My man trapped for keep him in the home at least twice out of the month. I would, uh, you know, venture out and about, you know, so uh, in, in. <laughs> to those ends over there, East End. What, what is she eating? Is she going to eat some catfish? She's ordering something from the place. I don't know, you know, what her favorite, but my favorite is catfish. What, what, what about your son? What is he getting? Oh, he's getting the same thing as I get. <laughs> Why did it fade out like that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, because that shit kind of hurts after a little while. <laughs> like, bro, how, how, how was Franklin? Keeping his his uh, English accent for the whole movie. <laughs> because Americans speak out their mouth instead of their throat, so it's easier accent. Oh my god, I can't do it, Shay. I think it's subconscious. Well, that's because they speak in the middle of their throat, so it's harder to make it for, for us because we're used to speaking. Middle of their throat. 
I think I think it's, free. it's why it's, they just did a Twitter alert. I don't know how true it is. Oh, said, can't understand you. <laughs> You've got to say no, British. Look, it says, Authorities are preparing to seize and close FRC Bank. Oh my God! Hopefully that's bullish, like BBY. Shit, that this sounds bearish. It means it that the, the bank will be it under. Better be bullish. It sounds very bearish. I'm worried, mate. I can't do the London accent. I'm just. I don't <laughs> it sounds pretty good. Keep going. Keep going. Keep Entertain it. Uh, is Australian. <laughs> I can't do it. It's already thick. I'm, I'll give it my best shot, but it better be bullish. Oh my God, we got cracked already. Wait, where's that? Two dollars and thirty nine cents. What? <laughs> We're down twenty six dollars. It's Girl, I'm down probably 200 now. Oh, my God. Girl, yeah. don't say that. It is. I should have listened to my guts. It's cool. Can I sell now for the $26? Because I don't want to lose the whole 80 God damn. Well, what if it doesn't? Well, 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 mate, it's already, it's pretty much dead at this point. <laughs> God damn! I'm one ninety two ninety in a hole. <laughs> oh my goodness! It totally died after hours. It's what two dollars and thirty five cents. Oh my god! We should have got the three point. We we should have got the two dollar put. Say three fifty one though, Bri. Oh wait, I see. It's minus two sixty eight. Wait a fucking minute. Two thirty three. So wait, they still let you buy after hours? I need to get my my thing up then. I'm finna buy it at 233. Wait, can't you sell it after hours in? I might just have to sell it here for the loss because this isn't looking too good, good I'm mate. I'm spending hours on. I'm finna buy it at 233. The NDIC has decided that the deterioration in FRC's position does not give it more time to try to avoid receivership. Thus, receivership will happen soon. Oh, my, oh my goodness. I, I hope they pamp it at least. Me too. I'm about to buy a Cheerio, my internet spec working. Is that is that like, is that Lady Trisha? <laughs> <laughs> Trisha two K. I literally can't. I can't. Decide. Damn. Do I want to spend more money in this? Shit? No, no, Tonya. I told you it was going to the shit. Wait, wait, wait. A mate on Twitter just put a dumpster on flames and said FRC what FRC cat got your tongue no, All right. oh this shit is a dollar ninety four Brie a dollar eighty eight FRC round four oh, oh my god mean? Tonya Tonya I've lost it all <laughs> <laughs> So, so, what? girl, oh, oh my god. god, I told you, mate, we should have waited. Oh my god, Tonya, I told you, mate, we should have waited. We should have waited. Now, do you, Wait, do you mind if oh I call you Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I can see what I'm thinking. Say, uh, like the, say, Tonya, do you mind if I call you Tony? Oh, shit is trying to go back up. Let me go and put this 180. I'm going to do 160. Let me see. I just, I'm already down, so I might as well. What the fuck? No, um, sister, no, you can't do that. Are you Because if you keep do going that. down, don't do I'm it. Spend one, I mean, thirty-seven dollars. Oh, she look, Brittany dropped the two thirty-four. Oh, oh, okay, Tony, I'm back. Damn, I missed it. I'm only down twenty now. Huh? How are you guys playing? Oh, okay. In after hours. I, it's Weeble. I'm not sure. <laughs> you can do Shaws. You can do Shaws. Oh, until when? Until when? I can, I can do it until 8 o'clock. on. Uh... Oh, yeah, 8 o'clock. Tonya, you stop it right now. Do not buy any more. I just, I just put an order in for 160 Brianna. Oh, my God, you're toxic. Toxic. <laughs> Definitely toxic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
I knew we should have wiped it. Down. Let me see. Because my average is 482. Shit. We should have waited, mate. Oh my goodness. It's a dollar ninety-three. Oh, ninety-one. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is blasphemy. This is blasphemy. How do we sort it? Um, you know how you can it. get it on you can get it on Weeble. No, I want to sort it. All right, so you have to get, you have to wait till Monday, mate. It's only shares. But how? <laughs> how? All right. Do I sort it? Oh yes, it's definitely going down. <laughs> I want to sort it like futures. Mm. Well, well, mate, yeah, it's a dollar eight dollar sixty. So she, I got twenty more orders. I mean. 20 more dollars. I mean, 20 more shares. I'll have 60. This shit, it better go at least to $10. It's going to 79 cents. Bruv, <laughs> bruv, it's going to a dollar. <laughs> and then once it loses that dollar, it's dead. Mm. What are they going to do about our money, though? 0 0.02. Did it go to zero? Shit. It needs to be a dollar fifty to remain in the S and P mm. or on the stock market. Oh my wow. god! So it'll be a penny nice stock. A hundred and fifty dollars last month to a penny stock. Wow, for FRC. Oh shit! Now they talking about bankrupt. Oh my god, Gorbin. Buy. That means buy. It yeah, bank bankruptcy bingo update. First Republic Bank is the latest to fall, completing in the column. Oh my God. They talking about the banks. So we got Silicon Valley. We got Credit Suzy. We got Signature Bank and now First Republic. I told you, you should, you, you, we, we should have listened. <clears throat> yeah. To me. And you know, I knew it was going to them to the shitter. Cause look, I should have put that in apron. Apron is already down. I'm down bad in apron. Um. Oh I my god, they're gonna seven. take it to fifty cents. That's what apron is. Fifty five cent. I paid a dollar seventy nine. Oh. Yeah, you know, apron was eight bucks. I sold it eight bucks initially. It co it collapsed. It fucking it, it collapsed. Did. It really did. But what's going on with XAU? Yeah. I knew USD. I should have took my $2. <laughs> That's all you have is $2 in it now? No, no. I, I was When I told Shay that I was up $2 earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should have put them $2. I don't know. I think it's going to, I think it is, it has a potential to get back to 20 Tw Sister, you're smoking on hopium. Real smoking crazy right dope. now. You're smoking on dope, sister girl. I'm thinking maybe you can go now, to like... Now, when y'all see me cash out for the 30, don't say damn. Tesla. <laughs> oh, Tesla is going. I should have cashed out on Tesla when she was at 212. But you I'm trying to make my profit target at 3, what, 330, 350. Oh, I'm going to cash out. I hate Tesla. Scressla. That's mm. what her name is. Scressla. She scressed a bitch out. Yeah, Anybody still fucking with that XAU USD? The next pump she get, uh, I may don't even make it to the 300 price target. I'm out. They can do what the hell they want. Oh, wow. SoFi went crazi Ooh. today. What the fuck? Ooh, SoFi, our so earnings is uh, next week. I think they... Uh, oh, they earnings. Yeah, I'm selling at earnings. Mm. I paid 524 a share for them. That's my average. I'm up only 20%, 20.92% on that shit. Oh, my God. Disney, I didn't even know. They played Disney Today, Shopify. Mm-mm. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Am I going to get filled for the 160, bitches? <coughs> so, are you still going to play that video of the fat lady or the lady pretending to be pregnant with the big tummy? Oh, y'all gonna do it in London's voice? Or y'all gonna be normal? <laughs> <laughs> it might be funny if we did it in London. I don't know. <laughs> Not did it in London. <laughs> <laughs> Shut 
She has a big I tummy. I don't know how to speak that accent, ma'am. I'm not British, so I can't. <laughs> we all see this, ma'am. Well, you sound very much like you, you were born there, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> he said you sound very much like you were born there. Oh, my God. I thought I made money off Tesla today. Hell no. These people made money off Tessie. FRC is at 37 cents. Oh, what? my God. In other <laughs> news, in other news oh, today. Oh, I ain't feel dead. It ain't at 35. Smokey at Robinson said that he smashed Diana <laughs> Ross. Well, I needed, I needed at least. I need that shit at 10 fucking dollars. And then $20 and I'm out. When we're cruising together, Bree. Yes. Are you going to pop in the video? Oh yes, okay. mate. I'm over here crying about my forty dollars. The lady that was feigning pregnancy. Yes. I'm not very keen of her. Let me bring it up one second, bruv. Sweet G. Alright. Alright, let me let me move this along. Oh, Banky, it's going to rain. What are we going to do, Bank? He says he's gonna chew on your Gucci slipper again. <laughs> It was Versace. <laughs> no, he did the Gucci as well. <laughs> he did. That's right. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters. Let me go to Discord. All right. Wow. It went up like oh, I can't even imagine. Oh, I can't imagine four thousand dollars in Tesla. Oh my god, I should have bought more contracts today. Only bought one at twenty dollars. Blasphemy. All right, I'm sharing my screen. Where is the video? All right. And you're starting a business. <laughs> All right. Can y'all see it? Let yes, me... we can see and hear. All right. Thought my, thought my bloody mom was calling me. Oh my God, it's raining. Banky, get inside. Come on, bruv. Hang on, mate. It's raining. I've got to get my dog inside. Come on. I don't want you sticking up the joint. Come on now. Hey, it's raining, I said. Now you stop it. Come on, let's go, bruv. It's about to be a thunderstorm. All right, now you stop it. You stop it. Now cut it out. All right. Wait, where, where did y'all go? Hello? Oh. Yeah, we're here with you. My phone fell into the couch. <laughs> All did right. Did you see the sofa? Yes, it fell into the sofa, into the headrest area. All right. Let's get this show back on the road. We could do a music video review. Oh, oh, Tonya, did you average down? Because we're at two dollars now, so you you might be up. Now, now I'm only down uh, thirty-four dollars. Dre, we. My God, I never said. Oh my goodness, um, Dre, what what type of videos in it do you are you looking for? 
how about no school video? Uh, Orange Juice oh, Jones, I saw you walking in the rain. Oh, my God, that's my song. What what song? I saw you and him walking in the rain. It's raining right now, real bad. I was about to go get you some tacos. Holding hands and I'll never be the same. All right, mate. So we want something. Um, um, how do you younger folk say it? Hip hop? Hip hop? That yeah. is the original hip hop. Oh. <laughs> 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 I can't with Dre. I want to do Jones. He was the first sugar daddy to get fucked over. Exactly. Who was that? Orange Juice Jones. He put the first hoe out her house. Oh, my goodness. Okay, he's on YouTube. Yes. All right, all right. Let and me... it's Oran, not Orange. All right. A-A-N, Juice Jones. Okay, hey, hang on, mate. I'm... I'm uh... I had to turn the light on because it's absolutely so dark out here. Banky, it's raining. Bankster. It's Banking really raining. It's really <laughs> raining. Look, look, look at it. Look at it. It's pouring. I don't see any droplets. Yes, yes, Mav. Yes, bruv. <laughs> Mav. <laughs> no, you're not going out there. Look at it. It's pouring, isn't it? I can hear it, but I don't see it. Oh, I just yep. seen the big one. I just yep. seen the big one pour. It's pouring, isn't it? It's about to stand that. that. It's it, out here in the wild. No. No. He I'm your master. Because you were just out there. I'm your master. I'm your, your, your lord. <laughs> <laughs> you listen to me, noble steed. And you sit down. <laughs> you sit down right now. You listen to me. Hey, hey, why are you not listening to me? You sit down right now. All right. Now you be oh, a good no. noble. You, you be a good noble seed. You give me your paw. You give me your paw immediately. All right. Thank you, good bruv. I'll talk to you later. All right. Let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Let's get this. Um, um your your oh, your service language. Your service. No. Am I back? All right, you're good now. Yeah. It was very very glitchy. I'm going to need you to get off of your um service. Pigeon I'm carrier. Doing anything? Can well, I, I don't. You must. Uh, you must be in your kitchen. You can't hear me. No, we can. Yeah, we hear I you. I haven't moved. No, okay. you're good. What, what, what's so the this problem? Mate says cooking for others is my love language. What kind of food do you like to eat? Oh no. Um. Oh, no. He what? He he likes pork. No, he just looks weird. Oh, he probably eats pork. No, he looks. Like Jackie Chan <laughs> with a tan. Uh, Jackie Chan with a tan. His name was Jordan, so I assumed. Jordan, in in it doesn't does he look like a handsome fellow? Let me share my screen. All right, you you go ahead now. So I can show you this bruv. Can you see him? Um. He, oh my goodness, that is giving Jackie Chan. No, he, he he was okay there, and then as I scrolled down and saw this. Oh, mm, it's it's not giving. He's not very handsome. Yeah, he's he, just there. He looks he looks like a cartoon character. Oh my god, he does, bruv. I was just about to say that. Rocket power. Rocket power. Oh my goodness, brings back good times, isn't it? And then what was this? Oh my trust. Oh. 
it's a low key flex. He can play the guitar. He's ambidextrous. You play Lee. He's he's ambidextrous. Mm. No. And you have no pictures of these foods that you say you make. Well, what, but what type of foods? I don't know. Oh, I don't like his voice, Shay. It's giving very... I can't um... even hear it, but if you say it's gross, I will click the X. No, it's gross. Ew, he sounded like a girl. He, he might He might have been a little... F oh, my goodness. How I fight the Sunday scaries. Okay, which is how. Right there. You, you're glitching. You're glitching, mate. M mate, you're glitching. Hello. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. The picture I'm going to show you, he has a woman behind him. Okay, show us. Okay. Can you see my screen? Let, let me say in it. All right, yes, I can see your screen. Oh, Look my goodness. Behind. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, maybe, so he's there, maybe he's there alone. Maybe she's just a spectator. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my. The pigeons. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness, my, uh, bruv. I'm going to need you to get some better service. And she has long nails. Let me turn but, my wife boy on. But maybe, maybe it's just, uh, maybe it's, oh yeah, that's why, mate. It's searching. Oh. Yes, whatever 5G you see, 5G you see is not, not good. There we go. All right. Oh my goodness. Yes, perfect. This short oh my goodness! What is with these men and their anim and the animals? Oh, okay. What was he? Can you hear me now? No, it's glitchy. It was good with the Wi-Fi. I couldn't hear you though. Oh my goodness, sister! It's all right. I think. It's too much when I share my screen. It is. It's too much for your for your for your bandwidth. It's because I have the mini twelve. Oh yes, isn't it? I can't even see Dre anymore. It says unstable. 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 All right. Well, you 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 go and exit, isn't it? I'll drop exit. off and come back in. Let me exit Discord and return. I will leave now. And I'm back. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, bruv. Okay, I can see and hear Dre now. All right. Yeah, we'll, we, we'll just leave. We'll just leave the... We'll leave it alone for you, Schmo, because... Your service... Your service isn't very good. It's not. It's not. It's not very good. <laughs> <laughs> You need you need to get an upgrade, Shay, on on your on your on your Wi-Fi. Your wireless connection needs to be a little bit better because I can't get new Wi-Fi because the Wi-Fi over here don't work. Okay, well, hopefully, once they build that mega schmega resort, you'll get better service. No, it's going to be worse because there's more humans on the towers. No, but it's more towers. They'll have to. You know, mm -mm -mm. you, know, you want to make your debut? You already made your debut. It's not all about you. It's about your mom. It's me, not you. 
this dude right. is a service advisor at Mercedes. Oh, he okay. Can he can get you a car. Dilla tags. What what do you want, bruv? What you what do you want for me? He doesn't what look do good you... with his mouth open, only closed. What do you want for me? Do I look like I fucking have anything for you? He wants a biscuit. <laughs> a fucking doggy he biscuit. A right. Give him a scone. No, he doesn't eat scones, scallywags. Scones are biscuits. Well, he's on a diet. A fucking English muffin. We don't eat English muffins. English muffins is made up by you Americans. What you, Dre, where's your catfish? We don't it's eat my fish and chips are right here. Fried. I guess it is a good I guess it was good, isn't it, that you ordered it so long ago because that no, took a long I that, had, that took... I had two boxes. No, he ate it when we was watching Cookie Dough. <laughs> oh, oh my God, Dre. Your diet is terrible. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, I love... Is there dessert glowing in the dark? Well, yeah, this is, uh, you know... Uh, uh. Is it glowing in the dark? <laughs> it's his Instagram. It's his, uh, his Twitter. <laughs> Who else is talking, Brie? Because I can't hear anyone. <laughs> Shay is talking. I thought you were going out on the town with, with, with your husband. Um, I'm just waiting. Where, where are y'all going? To Andretti's? Yeah, the game doesn't come on to 10.30, so I think I'm going to take a nap and then head out. You, right, you better yeah. take a nap. You need, you need a nap, Tanya. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I need a nap as well. That's why I know you need a nap because you were up earlier than me. <laughs> when you were when you were waking up, I was going to bed. Stop it. I need to eat some chips. I know, isn't it? I need to eat something my, myself. I'm quite famished. Why are you making me hungry with his mukbang. Mm. I'm quite famished. Mm -mm -mm. Quite famished. Quite famished. I wanted some tacos, and now the weather is acting up. Like, why would they do that? Who do they think they are raining when I was going to get some tacos? Like, this shit right here was everything I needed to be fish, chips, hush puppies, even though I don't fuck with them. All right, Tonya, we'll see you later. Hush puppies. Oh, I love some hush puppies. I really want to say, I really want some fried chicken myself, to be honest with you. I do. <gasps> well, I know you don't like it, but I do. I'll eat some French fried chicken. The like French fried. I want some fake fried alligator. Oh my goodness. What do they, what do they make it out of? Mushrooms. Oh, okay. I love me some mushrooms. It doesn't taste like mushrooms. It tastes like alligator. I didn't like alligator. You, well, it's just seasoned that way. Hmm. Like Cajun. So, uh, meanwhile, XAUUSD... Apparently dipped down to 1978 and now it's back up to 1989. Do y'all think I should just lose this $35 on OFC? I don't know. I'm so torn. Yes, 40%. I don't know if it's going back to 350. Um I don't know. I'm not familiar with the thought. I'm not familiar either, but I mean, well, I am somewhat familiar because I educated myself on it. But <laughs> oh shit! 
this guy, this guy, this guy on uh, Instagram, fat guy, <laughs> looked like he had a pussy on the back of his neck. <laughs> a pussy? <laughs> Fucking bloody hell. Excuse me. Hey, look at it, look at it. <laughs> we can't see a screen, Dre. Oh, what well, are you stressed out about, Banks? I'm sick of Uber Eats. It never gives me fucking coupons anymore. Fuck y'all. We need to call this episode, bitch, we got the tea takes London. <laughs> you, see yeah. the, you see the video? What video? The video I got on the screen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my good. Ew, what was that? <gasps> The back of his neck, he had a, a thing it's on the fucking back of his neck, bruv. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Yes, it is. That's funny, isn't it? He's funny, he's funny. I would need to get that sucked out ASAP. Here we have uh, smashed <laughs> is that his Robinson? girlfriend. Is that his girlfriend? He said he uh smashed her off back in the oh, day. My goodness, you just want Why all you say that? Because he's old and has nothing else to talk about. That makes me not like him anymore. No, nice to you, Mama. Because why would you say that? You cheated on your wife with Diana. Nice, nice. You be nice. Hey, you be nice. Some who's coming in and out? Trisha, two K. Trisha. Pretchaw said the strength of the Black Panther has <laughs> been <the> away. <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. So you have been stripped of your wait, power. Wait, 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 say it again. <laughs> <laughs> the strength of the Black Panther has been stripped away. <laughs> stripped. Ooh, do I want the 10 piece, the 10 piece strip combo? So here on the timeline, this Ooh, other 10 picture piece wing combo. says, who do you choose? Do you choose Lady A who's oversized? <laughs> or as they say, body positive. Makes $30 an hour, 401k, <laughs> owns a house, a car, no kids. Are you smashing off the body positive lady who's A or B, no job? Is that precious? Yes, it is. Lady B who stays couch to couch, no call, 12K <laughs> followers on IG and has three kids and three baby daddies. Oh my you can goodness. You girl A, girl B with money. With, I, I don't know how much money it's going to require. <laughs> Girl A is probably two of these girl B's. Oh, is that Ryan? No, it's not. I know someone that looks just like her. Who? Her. Oh, wow. Oh, that's Sky Townsend. Her father was a superhero. A superhero? Wait a Robert minute, this Townsend is Robert is Townsend's daughter. daughter? Yes. That is his daughter. It is. He stays, he stays uh, down these ports somewhere, I think, Decatur or so. Oh, he does. Has an acting skew, you know, an institute. Where's Sang Woo been? He's been at Walking with Ray. Oh, yeah. Walking with Ray. They're planning their life together. 
he's going to come back and say she's pregnant. Isn't it? Hmm. I really, really need to eat something. I just don't know what I'm craving. Nothing really sounds super appeasing. Solange was going to beat Jay Z up. Oh. But then they're saying that she's cheating on her husband and she should be beat. She's cheating on her husband too. She did not cheat on her husband. Well, that's what this guy is saying right here. Does he know her? Probably not. Because her and her husband released a statement. They were holding on to nothing. What did they say, though? What was the exact words? That uh, they outgrew each other and fell out to love. Fucking bullshit. But that was her second marriage. Oh, in it. But she was married to... Is the mate's name Trey? Mm, I don't believe so. Oh, you know what? It might it might have been. The one who posted Sky Jackson naked. Oh, shit. Anne Hetchy. I don't know if I'm pronouncing the name right, but let's pull it up on Google. And she was carried out by apes. Wait, what? This lady, that was the lady who said, who was murdered. <laughs> oh man! They were pushed. How? They How were was she mad, Ed, when she just looked alive? That's the whole point of the video. She was allegedly How dead. Was she carried out by apes? She was. I saw it. Shay it was a monkey. It said that she was brutally murdered and then brought out in a body bag that she just popped <laughs> out of. They tried to make it look like she was dead before they killed her for real. <laughs> Is that like Franklin? <laughs> For real. Can you please pull up the comments? Because I need to know if anyone else seen an ape. I seen Caesar Roller out there. No, I seen an ape too, sister. That was that was real creepy. See, look. This lady right here says, Are we not supposed to think it's weird that she tries to escape when they're trying to tell us she was brain dead on arrival? I'm confused. Is this real? No, this is I a... I have heard that some people die and wake up. That's rigor mortis. But this doesn't That's look like that. I'm to be buried because I don't want to wake up. But this doesn't look like that, isn't it? It looks a, a little a, more a, serious. A dead body trying to unzip a bag that takes some kind of thought? I don't think so. Now, if she was, if the bag was already loose and she oh, just leaned up... I don't think so. What in the hell am I going to eat? I'm starving and it's pouring. So nobody seen the monkey? I said I seen a monkey. How that was say in the comments, in the comments. Not one lad in the comments seen the monkey. Like some shrimps. And then even here they're talking about she was assassinated in a French article. <laughs> i never but, seen that woman before. You've seen her in movies, TV shows. Let's see here, images. She oh, was... Ellen DeGeneres' wife mistress thing. Exactly. They said that she knew some dirt on the pedophilia going on in Hollywood. And hey. that was the real reason why well, she was killed. That's who supposedly died. That's, that's why she died. Because of the pedophilia. So, Ellen's, Ellen's wife was carried out by monkeys and she continued to film the Ellen show with no remorse. Exactly. She's fucking sick. She doesn't even uh, have the Ellen show anymore because she's a weirdo. I thought they took it away from her. Hey, I didn't know that. Yeah, because she treated the people unfairly and was sexual harassment and things of that nature. Yeah, she was being she was being a typical. Hey, abort, abort. We cannot. Abort. Yeah, yeah, just we have to abort that right there, or beep it out, bleep it. <laughs> bleep it out, mate. 
She was being a real um. Uh... You can't say that either. What? I love girls. I got it to soon know me outside, Banks. What do we do? Mm. You don't even care, Banks. Dre, you have the most exotic timeline I've ever seen. One. Hey, well, you know, we try to cover it all from music to ratchet to political politics. You, you really political, and, and I, you know, you I know. really love that about you. You expand your horizons and you capitalize on the ones that you love. You know, we even, you know, try to give some spotlight to the hood rats. What, what do they call that? They call that cultural, um, cultural competence. Cultural competence. That sounds good. Well, as they would say in America, we're rounded. Did I lose you? No, no, we hear you loud and clear. No, we hear you, we hear you in it. I'm going to eat some hot, cheesy flavoured snacks that Americans eat. You're always snacking, mate, you're always snacking. I know. You need to stop. It's because I'm pregnant with twins and they're always hungry. <laughs> it's because you're vegetarian. No, it's because yes. it's just because I'm bored. I also need to really drink more water. You do I'm need really to drink. You need to drink more water. I tell you that all the time, isn't it? No, so, I do drink a lot of water. So, You're not going to get where you want to be not drinking water. So, I do drink a lot of water. So, all right, all right. So look at this, Brittany Griner. It says that she is slamming. Or pushing, it's hard to tell the way this is uh, written up here, but she's slamming or pushing to ban trans women from competing against biological women in sport. Because they shouldn't be. They shouldn't be. It's too hard. It's too hard. We already have to go against men. We don't need to go against women. It's not okay. Oh, that's the that's that's the thing that you know beat the girls in the swimming meet. By 40 meters. So the irony of this is that we have a lady, a, 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 a would you, would, what the fuck you want to call it? A lady who Griner wants to be a man against a yeah, man Griner that wants to be a lady. Trans. She's not a trans. She's, she's like she's us. A woman. She's a little boyish. Yeah, she's identifying as a man, basically, for all intents and purposes. No, she is not, Dre. Right. No, she, she is not, Dre. Right. Well, no, she looks she like is. it in the face and haircut. No. She's not, Dre. Right. It's because she doesn't have long hair and makeup on. She's actually a very pretty girl. She looks like Peter Davison right here. No, she does not, Dre. Right. Not Peter Davison. Well, well, as they said yesterday, somebody said she had a Kim Jong-il haircut. <laughs> Uh, Dre, what are we going to do with you, Dre? What are we going to do? Someone I, said she looks like, uh, what's his name? What's his name? The, the, the young fellow in the NBA. Uh, ben Simmons. <laughs> what? They said she looked like Ben Simmons. I don't see it personally, but, you know. And then this bitch right here. What is that? Charlie Theron, who adopted two black boys, but yet have them walking around in dresses. These oh children my are God. too. Why would she do that? These children are too young to make these sorts of decisions, and I think she's feminizing these Why boys. would she do that to them? Maybe they don't want to wear dresses. How does she know? Exactly, because she's a white supremacist who is fulfilling the agenda of trying to destroy the black man. The identity. Why would she adopt them? That's not okay. You can't adopt children and then dress them in dresses. And as the, the guy who posted this says, she was just better off adopting two black girls, if that's the case. I don't what? think adoption should allow you to adopt outside races. I don't either. It doesn't make any sense because then you don't know your heritage. I, I agree. I agree. I mean, every children deserves a loving family, but it should be within 
the, the ethnicity. Children need to be with children that look like them. Children need children that look like them. And we have to be the ones to speak for the children. I got to get more seasonings. So to season your food, people. If you don't season your food, we can't be friends. Mm. You got you got to get the you got to get the the, the thyme sea salt. Makes it real good. What is going on here? Ghana arrested Nigerian male and women prostitutes. Oh my goodness, isn't it? Tonya said V. I mean Trisha said B R B. In it. Said B R B. Trish, Trisha said B R B. She said B R B. B R B. I'm cooking up some uh, some shrimps and uh, some pasta in it. You got three. Uh... I Lovely. I really lasses. didn't want to cook. I didn't really want to cook, but it's raining real hard out there, so I really didn't have a choice. Isn't it? Hey, Dre, have you spoken to little Oosley? Little Oosley? I haven't seen little Oosley in quite some time. <laughs> I'm going to change uh, saying name to little Oosley in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I can't believe Tanya called Ty. Ty. L I L. She is so funny. E L E Y. All right, we got the troops seasoned. You see them? They seasoned in there. In it. Wow. wow. San Francisco Fire Commissioner Don Carmangione, however the fuck his last name is, was caught on <laughs> video spraying bear spray on a homeless guy. Bear what? spray on a homeless mate? Wait, he was spraying what onto what? Bear spray, it's like, I guess, a super powerful type of mace of some sort. Super strong mace. That's real messed up, isn't it? It's inhumane. That's real messed up, isn't it? I want to go to the dispensary, but I don't want to spend any money. Um, well, what you gotta do is. <laughs> well, they, wow. Well, I love it. One little trumpet or something. So, uh... I know, the dispensary. We used, to spend a, we used to spend a lot of money at the dispensary because it's, it's very expensive. And they can say, see, what you need to do is. <laughs> see, what you need to do is. What you need to do is. You need to call, you need to call the Lord. I know you want to smoke weed, marijuana, but you don't need that. All you need to do is hit my DM. That's how I got what you need. The Lord got what you need. <laughs> Prime came to, uh, Prime came to uh, the UK. Shoot, the prime is the UK. Prime is everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> what you need to do is... He said, when I seen your picture, I was, I was, I felt the spirit of the Lord communicate through me into your picture. He sent an I'll angel on earth. <laughs> right here is an angel in the flesh sent to me by the most high and when i seen that picture i said let me reach out and hit her dm not do the 
on Matthew, but DM as in direct message. He said, my girl, my baby girl, Shay. <coughs> I want to put you in the squad. I got a spot in the lineup. We're going to fly you out, you know? First class. Kick your legs out. Let them stretch. Lady right here in this particular video is saying that she's seen a girl do a hand signal. Earth balance. And the signal, the signal was basically showing that she was being kidnapped and was fearing for her life. And what? This, this black lady... I guess, let me see if I could, if she does Oh, that. it's like this? It's like this signal or something? It's like a fist or... Yes. I think I remember them talking. Yeah, some kind of fist type signal. And that let them know, or let her know that the girl was being, you know, kidnapped or held against her will. Yeah, yeah, it's a signal. It's a signal or something like that. And so wait, what do the signal, what's the signal look like? It's something with your hands, I think. See, now I gotta Google it's, it. It's something like this, or I, I forget. Now I, I forget. Gotta, now, I remember, now I gotta Google it. Yeah, Google it. I remember seeing it on social media, and they were like, "If you ever get snatched up by somebody, hand signal, I guess." No, put um, kid, woman kidnapping, uh, hand ah, signal. Boom! Here it is. So basically, you have your thumb tucked ah, in, okay, and yeah. then you do like yeah. this. Yeah. So yeah, the thumb is pointing towards the motherfucker who's doing the kidnapping. Yeah. And then. So yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's been out for a while, Dre. Where they, where they've been telling you to do a signal if you're kidnapped by a earthling. This shit, this uh, XAU is still stuck at this fucking uh, 1989 level. I'm looking to see, you know, is this shit going to try to bust through or what? Now that I'm back on that Hugo joint, I may try to fuck with something, but not yet. Hugo should be closed. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, it's 604. It should be back open, right? For go? No, because it's Friday. It's not open till Sunday night. Ah, oh, the bullshit. Well, maybe it's a good thing, but <laughs> it's better. It's better, Dre. You don't need it right now. Enjoy your weekend. Decompress and relax. I was thinking about putting money back in there. And that's what I did. Well, I, told you, I told you that's what you need to do. All these funded things are just the white people trying to get you. You can do it on your own. Actually, not white. Most of them Nigerian and Canadian. Uh, oh, mm. no. Oh. Oh. Well. <laughs> okay. That maybe even that might be a little bit, a little bit, you know, sister. What I'm going to say, I'm not going to say it right now. Are you guys going to come with me to the dispensary? I could vlog it. Why yes, not? Vlog Why me. not? I'm, I'm making, I'm making dinner right now. I'm not going nowhere. Okay, let me put a shirt on so I can go outside and not be arrested. Oh my God, that's blasphemy. <laughs> I don't, I don't understand why um, they thought it was a good idea, like before any kind of major fight, to have these guys do like a stare down at a press conference, like knowing that a fight could pop off right here. Because they're acting. What, what, what do you mean, Dre? What for? What? You know, any fight. You know, what I'm saying they. They have the two fighters stand there, nostril to nostril, on camera, and then, you know, thinking that they're just going to walk away. 
and then they might fight right there at the press conference rather than in the ring where they're supposed to be getting paid to fight. Because they're acting, Dre. This don't look like acting. Like, shoot, Shorty right here almost got knocked out. <laughs> Hilarious. I would like two grams. Two grams of, uh, what do you call that? And it's a marijuana. Mary Jane. I made way too much pasta, but that's okay, because I'm going to eat it. You know, some grass. Yeah, 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 she was looking crazy. She definitely was looking crazy. And then it's like, it's like, there was nothing sexy about it, like, you know, like, at least... Nothing sexy about it. At least be cute with the little goddamn belly. She out here looking, you know... (laughs) Below me. That's how I look after I eat my cat, at four boxes of catfish. Shit. Oh, don't make me show my stomach. <laughs> oh my God, he's pregnant with twins. Her shit look bigger than my shit. <laughs> Her shit look bigger than my shit. Am I lying? No, my my stomach, my stomach. When I eat a lot, a lot of carbs, it will. Like I'll look like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the but, food baby. But her shit, but her shit look like she done drunk like a forty ounce, <laughs> like a couple well, of them shit. Also bend it over and like, exactly, which makes it. And then that shit is just, it's just sagging hella far, you know what I'm saying? It's not like, sagging. <laughs> Yeah, she got a sagging ass stomach. You know what I'm saying? My shit look like a six pack compared to hers. Bro, only like you can see her abs through the box. Yeah, you can. Well, you know, I ain't got no abs just coming through yet, but uh. Me <laughs> yet? I'm crying. What type of shit is this? I don't know if this is some old California type shit, because it can't be New York, but I wouldn't be surprised. There's an actual restaurant where you go in there and you just eat cereal, apparently. Oh, we got one of those out here. What? Yeah, see the picture? Cereal killers. Oh, wow. That's cool. That's probably what that is. And then the post is saying, basically, ladies, if a man asks you on a date and you walk into the place and it's a cereal bar, what do you do? I better, I better have told him that I love cereal or otherwise I'm leaving. Right. Because I'm not trying to eat cereal like on a date. Unless I was like, oh my God, I love cereal. Let's go to a cereal place. Then I'll be like, oh, you took me to where I want to go. And then Shuddy talk about eat any cereal with marshmallows. Shorty, Ugh. I, I like cereal, but not like that no more. I'm grown. She look like she ain't eating no motherfucking cereal. Clayco, so that's a Atlanta joint. I mean, you know, maybe she might eat the cereal, but uh. I don't know. I really don't. I love. Don't get me wrong. I don't get me wrong. I love me some um, good um, good cereal, but don't take me out on a date there unless I ask you. If not. Don't do it, innit? Yeah, I never heard of that shit until today. Interesting. Never knew that shit. These niggas is crazy with this picture. Draft day. That shit, that shit does kind of sum up a lot of these athletes. Niggas sitting there with the white joint. Of course. Say, this picture sums up 99% of the NFL athletes in the draft. Chippy's 
Shorty said, how to make a fake tooth. So she got a, this shorty right here in the video got a f Find a heat source. So because I'm no longer sleeping in my car, I don't have to use a lighter like a crackhead and I can use my homeboy stove. So put this on high. Oh, I made right. Oh, wow. It's not even for. Okay. I hate that we can't hear it, right? right? Find you a metal it's spoon. Drake. I'm crying. A metal spoon. It's Drake. Huh? She about to what make. What did she say, isn't it? She, about to, she said, find you a metal spoon. That's a fork. A hot sauce. Mm -hmm. I mean, a heat sauce. You don't need to be like four. To Depending make it on two. how much tooth you're missing, you may need more than just four, but I only need four because I'm only missing like a quarter of my tooth. Add a few droplets of water. See, not too much. And then you boil that bit. I'm running out of time, but when they turn clear, I rolled it into a ball. Are we recording? Okay, hold it. See, look. Yeah, but you can exit it out. Oh, shit, look at that shit. It's not. Wait, how? She took whatever material that was in that bag that she um uh put on the stove and then put drops of water on it, and then once it turned clear, she rolled it up into a ball and shaped it, and then put it in her mouth. How to, like it says, how to make a fake tooth. That's disgusting. Not Go her, to the dead. But she looked, look, she she looked better than them. She Look, that, she, that tooth, sort of before. like a quarter of my tooth. Add a few droplets of water. How, how much tooth you're missing? But Shay, what, Shay, do your, um, your thing. What is what? How, in, what's that? Insta more pull. I'm trying Insta to see. more. You may need more than just four, but I only need four because I'm only missing like a Mold moldable plastic. Oh, more moldable plastic. She literally put some of them pellets into the spoon with some is that a quarter of my tooth. Add a few droplets of water. And you see, that's how I should have chipped. See, not too much. And then you boil that bit. I'm running out of time, but when they turn clear, I rolled it into a ball. <laughs> and yeah. then hold it. Yeah. Drink a nice cold beverage, and this is what you end up with. Yeah, her shit look good right there. You can't even notice that shit. Yeah, that's some, that's some, uh, you know, hood genius ingenuity shit right there. Hood genius and in ingenuity. I'm crying. <laughs> Nigga said she's the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then the nigga uh -uh, said, this dude look like me. Why does this dude look like me? On hinge? Yes. Man, let's see. Stop playing. Right. Do you, you putting the picture in the chat or something? No, I shared my screen. Oh wait, hang on. I'm wiping the counter. He, oh my god, he kind of like you could be your like your brother, your I older thought, brother. I thought the nigga looked like your baby father. Oh no. We don't know what her baby father. <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. Like he looked like that type of nigga. <laughs> nah, remember he said her baby no. father. We're well, not liking him, but. No, he brown. Oh, he brown. Oh, okay. Basically, he uh, Quind ba basically, he's he, basically he's Quindell. Yeah, he do look like both of us, like equally. Ew, I ain't got no earrings on. I was about to walk out the house looking like dude for real. Let me get my earrings. You better put them hoops on, girl. What? People about to think my name is Sean. Don't be dramatic. I ain't even putting no big ones in. It's my Michael Jordan hoop. What the hell? Let me see. Dang, so, how long it take you to make some shrimp pasta? So she the Franklin. I'm done now. I'm like so we are going to get enough money in the next <laughs> If you're not gagging, you're not doing it right. Exactly. Yeah, you can get them on tape. And not we're doing getting it right. the call. And we're we're going we're rich. We're rich. We're rich already. You made you made money this week on options. <laughs> you made money this week on options. We need to stick to our rules and we're going to keep making money. We should 
we should just stick to our trend days. Stick to the trend days. Yeah, and if it's a trend <laughs> day, if it's a trend day, it's a friend day. Look at this I nigga think I'm teeth. Going to start again. I know, and it should. Shit, should that's that's pull, what pull. that's what got a nigga to four K. We just gotta find the right, you know, activity. If I would have full ported Netflix today or Tesla, I would have been rich. Tesla, Tesla went from twenty dollars the contract to um, ninety five dollars. This nigga got a bottle open. Imagine if I bought ten contracts at twenty dollars, that would turn into almost two thousand dollars if I would have full ported. This if nigga. I Because I did have the 412s at first, and I sold them. Get out my way, sir. This kid's mouth looks like a bottle opener. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, wait, what? You see these... Don't put y'all right here. Put y'all right there. This shit look crazy. This nigga got two broken front teeth. This shit look crazy. Thank you, my thunder, buddy. The radio out here is so whack, it's disgusting. The radio is pretty whack everywhere, to be honest. Except no, New York. Here is different. Except New York. New York has the best radio, and LA is pretty decent. They play in Bone Thugs and Harmony right now, like they do every day. They Holy. play that all the time, though. It says Texas. Yeah, they all do that. So look, Meet me at the crossroads. Texas man <laughs> pauses his date. To kill the man who scammed him for forty dollars in the parking lot, and oh, then no. return like nothing happened. <laughs> That's me. Said, so, "Hold, sit, bro, sit, sit tight for a minute, darling. I'll be right back." Mother, <laughs> and then came back. Uh, yeah, you, you, you ready to order? <laughs> this is crazy. There's real fucking crazy ass people in this world. Right, exactly. I know a few niggas that would do that, to be honest with you. That's how they, that's their alibi. I was at dinner with my bitch. I hate when I can't get the toppings on the pasta. Come on now. Did y'all see me close the garage? Oh shit, the power is about to go out. Oh, Why? you better plug it's, that uh, phone up. It's that hard, bro. You gotta plug, plug that what? phone up, goddamn. It's raining that hard. Oh fuck, what is my phone on? 57. Y'all don't have a backup? No, we do. My apartment complex doesn't usually uh, lose power for, for long. It's usually like a quick second, but I don't know how bad this storm's gonna get. You must stay in the house. No, I am. But it's no, looking like it's getting right. better. And then you're it's talking about like the key fob this and fob that and the motherfucker. No power. You ain't going to be able to get back in, goddamn. No, Dre, I got a new one. Remember I said I went down there. Oh. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I, I'm not playing. Yeah, you better just cook something, goddamn. Oh, wow. This is really fucking good. Mm. I put a little jerk seasoning in it. Spice it up. It's none for you, Banky. Dang, everybody at Starbucks right now. What is going on? Um, Friday. I was supposed to get Starbucks too. That drink I sent you, that pink one. Ooh. 
That sounds good. Yeah, that one sounded real good. Every time I get a Starbucks drink, it be gone so fast. Like, I don't know if it's the shape of their cups or what. Yeah, you got to get the drink and then ask for ice on the side. They charge for that now. Uh, they do. Yeah, it's like one ninety nine. No, not at mine. They don't do that. They don't charge yet. But I wanted to get like a blended drink, which wouldn't have ice in it. I seen a vanilla bean frappuccino with caramel, like around the edge of the cup, and then caramel in the whipped cream, and it looked really good. Clothes. I don't know why this shit keep popping up on my phone. These bitches, I hate to say it. <laughs> so shorty, meet De Deputy Jennifer McLean, her, who was arrested for sleeping with the white supremacist while he was in jail for a hate crime against a black man. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. A motherfucker could have sex with you and still be practicing white supremacy against your ass. My friend said... Uh, last week I saw them move for the first I don't time. Know but they're eight I, got I got booted off. Who's pregnant? No, my friend, because she she didn't watch that video that we watched. She just she's like repeating what girl said and then putting her explanation at the bottom. <laughs> Bank be so mesmerized by this rain, bro. He don't know. He don't be knowing what the hell. Why is there so much traffic right now? It's crazy. But you know what's crazy though? Is she? It's Friday at three thirty. She gonna make it to wherever she want to go because she's consistent. Cookie. Yeah. No, she is. Can't hate on that. The girl's get, getting money. Well, I don't know about all that. But she is consistent. No, you don't think she made some money off her programs and shit like that back in like... No, I think she's in a group home and they give her like $1,000 a week. <laughs> That's crazy to say. You don't think she's in a group home? I mean, the area that she, that she live in do look kind of weird. I think she's she's definitely not loose. She's not working. And like I said, she used to have hella piercings on her face and they're gone now. So I'm assuming when you were admitted, they make you take them out. Mm. And she's really faking this pregnancy, bro. <laughs> she's probably going to post a fake birthday dinner tonight. How are you in a group home? Lying. <laughs> where where do you have to be to lie? Aren't you, uh, aren't you supposed to be getting healing and getting better? I mean, it's more like like they do like certain classes. Like they'll do classes on like Fridays for an hour, but they're not like constantly trying to help you because they're making money off you being loony. Ooh, they got a lemonade stand over here with the tahini oh. rim. Girl, in L.A., that was literally on, like, every corner. It was crazy. Move out the way. I'm trying to get my trees. Move! Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are all y'all... Now they're playing Nelly hot in here. Give me off this car. they trying to bully you at, at, in the Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> they are because they're bigger than the car. Right. 
That's what I do whenever I see a Prius. I'd be like, get the fuck out the way. <laughs> Like y'all need to move. Oh, the bank, a bank. Hmm. Okay, with the true socks. Thank go lay down. Nothing, nothing's happening, son. It's it's pouring. We can't go outside yet. Dang, they're press on. <laughs> Oh my lips! Look at my my lips is on fire. This shit is hot, but it is good. Somebody doing some old Fast and Furious shit a couple of blocks away. <laughs> They do that in Dallas so much, it's annoying. Oh, wait, do I need to get cash? I don't remember this one takes cash. Good, how are you? Do you yeah, yeah. Dang, I haven't been here in a long time, too. So, yeah, you had a... Yeah, you did a half frame. The CBTs are pretty... So, if you yeah. want one that's going to taste more like what it's like, you have to go to a different stream. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you some more beverages. Anything like that? Limoncello with the sativa. 
Swiss mints with the hybrid ice cream cake. Ooh, ice cream cake. Ice cream cake's the best. You're not good in any city, boy. You don't eat this. I would say go with the ice cream cake. I would say it's not. They have a mixture of biscotti and regular. Biscotti. I think I like ice cream. Oh, yeah, I love biscotti. Biscotti's good. Get biscotti, Shay. If you're trying to be high. <laughs> biscotti's an indica, I think, or a hybrid. The difference between, because one's a white packaging, right? And then the other one has served. Yeah, she had bad service. <laughs> Dre, what are you over there pondering and thinking about? Oh, uh, now I'm replying to this guy. So this guy, um, trying to say some slick shit. Basically talking about, um... You know, racial passing in the Jim Crow era is a much discussed subject, which is a fact, but it is rarely mentioned that black people often pass by pretending to be Latin American. And then he goes further to say, pretending to be Cuban, Mexican, Spanish, Latin, etc., to get around Jim Crow was a thing. So, um, oh, yeah, so I'm replying, sure. yeah. So what I'm replying, I'm saying white supremacy is what forces um, all others to have to pass uh, in the first place. Second, uh, what's uh, interesting? So if you're over the last century. Ginger ale. Um, for the gingers. I gotta order. You're in Colorado if you're trying to talk to us. Oh, cookies and cream. Yeah, fire. Oh, yeah, egg cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is my shit. <laughs> What? 
Dre, the, the Brillo pad got the burnt rice up off the thing. The Grillo? I mean, the Brillo? <laughs> Said the Grillo. Yeah, this, the Brillo. Oh, no. Look, look, Dre, it all came off. You see, Dre? Wait a minute. I see it. I see it now. Shout out to Brillo. Yeah, yeah, Brillo. But you still, um, you just brushed it immediately or you still soaked it? No, well, I, I told you that I... I told you that I was chipping away. I was chipping away at the burnt bit the other day with like a like a <clears throat> like a knife. So I got most of it off that way, and then I ordered like the Brillo, and the Brillo took it took it all off. Okay. I'm so happy because oh, that looks so gross. Can't believe I burned my rice for like the first time. Yeah, yeah. Actually, the last time I made the little beans and the rice, I didn't burn it at the bottom this time. <laughs> That's the first time in like the last six times. Dre, don't you just read the, the instructions? Nah, so, you know, I do. Because it was like, you know, um, you know, you're supposed to kind of stir it up from time to time. Just yeah. to kind of fluff it, I guess. Whatever. You yeah, know you I mean. are. But uh, maybe I was just dozing off, or maybe I was um, playing games on my phone or watching TV a little too long. And by the time I came back in there to try to fluff it and stir it, it was starting to burn already. <laughs> Dre, your comedy. That's why you shouldn't cook. Leave it to your wife. Um, unless you're warming up something. <laughs> I'm in the club hollering, hey baby, hey baby, hey baby. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you help me get my card, please? Just like grab it because my nails are too long. Thank you. Not my nails are too long. <laughs> they are. <laughs> Not like a cold can of ginger ale. I 
Did you get the brownie cake or the cookies and cream? Yeah. I said that you get the biscotti or the cookies and cream. <laughs> Did you leave them? You hear her? Or are you what, Dre? Are you talking to her? Because I don't hear her. Yeah, I'm talking to Shay. You probably got to come back in and out because her, she just came back in. Okay. Taste test. You're, I can't hear you. You're glitching. Let me leave and come back. Uh -huh. Hello. Yes. Okay, I'm about to taste test this cookie y'all just bought. Okay, where's it from? From the dispensary. Oh, it's an edible. Dre was coming back on. I don't know where Dre, come come on. No, I'm here. Do y'all don't hear me? Okay. Right, I, I, I'm right here. <laughs> no, I didn't hear you before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I came back in and I was just continuing to read this um thing so I could, uh, you know, uh, make this slick talking so called Hispanic nigga who's really a fucking mulatto educate this nigga. Yeah, I see. You're very deep in thought in that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So this article written by a person who is classified as a Hispanic is the one who did the research on his own people, which is why the article is called The Invention of Hispanics. So oh, it's, just, yeah. it's, it's just breaking down how in early as the 1930s, many of the Mexican-Americans had seen themselves as what? White. They were also on paper classified as what? White. It goes further to say that when the 1930 census classified them as Mexican-American, the leaders of the community protested and the classification was changed back to white in the very next census. Mm. So don't try to... I'm about to... About, yeah, let me drop this motherfucking bars on this hoe-ass nigga. Shay's about to eat a cookie that she got from the dispensary. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? Nah, well, Dre, we gotta get him, we gotta get him this shirt. Lightly melanated, hella black. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We always been in all flavors. That's what that's what these uh Oh my god, I need that shirt. Shay, where do you get that? You know what I mean? Everybody uh, uh, that's what they gotta understand. We've been in know. all flavors from the jump. But in North America, the woo -woo -woo, the red skins, just like your skin, like my skin. You know what I mean? We are what we are. Hey, when I'm tan, I got a red undertone, Dre, okay? You just wait on it. No, nah, no, nah, you you know, you you did you good too, you know what I mean? 
<laughs> just a little bit lighter, you know, shit. But you still I'm just a little, uh, yeah, but I got a little redness to me. You see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you good. <laughs> Drop back into this nigga's uh, motherfucking joint here. Jay, you come with this. What? Huh? I was, oh, I don't know what happened to Shay. Like, is she eating the cookie or what? Right. I got a party. You can't drink in. I mean, you can't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get home safely and then do that. Oh, my God. It's a cookie. It's not going to hit you yet. I, I don't want to be on record driving and dabbing. Exactly. And then have yet another problem, potentially. Yeah, just do that shit. Oh, my God, that. Dre. Stop it. Nah, that's it's, it's just. That's serious? It's like, why? You ain't eating a cookie? You can't do that. They don't know that it's a. Uh, you act like you're gonna feel it as soon as you eat it. Brie, you can't do that. Well, I smoke my pen and drive, and smoke and no, drive all I want. You, you, no, you can do that, but you can't record yourself doing that. Exactly. She, she live on the joint here. Oh, okay. I thought we we want we would abort it, but okay. Yeah, we'll wait patiently. <laughs> I got the seatbelt on and everything. This is a rare t moment that sh that Shay on camera. We gotta, you know, um, appreciate should these. Should I get five bucks or should I go home? Go home, ma'am. You already spent money on weed and cookies. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna be having well, like, salivating thoughts. After. Yeah, yeah. You might as well get the Starbucks while you're already out because you keep looking. Oh over my there. god! She keeps, she keeps, she keeps, she keeps, she keeps my looking over. My order is nine dollars. Okay, so. <laughs> She done looked over keep there it, like keep it under like, six. Keep it under six dollars. Just get you the biggest cup of whatever, and then keep it moving. <laughs> Ask them for like a weekend. You, you know what? You keep looking at it. Exactly. She done looked over there like eight times. She gonna make. Oh some, my she, god! Like she, probably, she lives she, right by it. She, she can eat it whenever. She's making a U turn right now. <laughs> in, in the Fiat. <laughs> All right, let me uh, mute If I was in Tesla, I could have gotten the passenger and did the thing. Ew, this yeah. line is grossing me out, though. Simon said that the, the auto driving is scary, though. Like, he Them niggas, like they ain't got a drive through They don't have the drive through joint? I am at the drive through Oh. Yeah, I'm at the drive through But it's just like, what are y'all I hate doing? Starbucks line. I can't. Well, let me find out what I'm going to get. Get that drink and let me know. <laughs> I'm looking at um, that page right now, too. Brody came home, came to pick him up. What is a blonde espresso? What's the difference between blonde and black? Blonde is the um the coffee. But what It means like lighter mean? roast, I think. Oh, okay. I've never had it, but I'm pretty sure that's what their blonde coffee is. I want something blended and bomb. Is this blended? No. Oh, here we go. Ice shaking. Oh, no, that's ice for this thing. It's all my love to you. I'm I'm there to find your home. Okay, you said strawberry acai refresher blended, extra ice double blended, extra strawberry puree with vanilla cold foam. Dang, I'm, I'm already locked in. Something behind me.
Oh, Bree, they got a puppy um, pup cup on here. I know. I wish my boy could have it. It makes his stomach hurt. <laughs> oh. Well, I used to take Panini to Dutch Bros. They used to always give her one with a bone The in cream. It. The cream bothers his stomach. He friggin' got sick the two times I gave it to him when he was a puppy, so I said no. He would love one. His ass would be so happy if I gave it to him as an adult. An adult. I wonder if it would be nasty if I got a vanilla bean with matcha in it. Well, matcha? Maybe. Ooh, a venti black tea mango dragon fruit base with five. Ooh, that one sounds that good. Sounds okay, y'all, it's a bear in our neighborhood. <laughs> a bear? Yeah, so this what? morning somebody posted, yeah, the neighborhood page on Facebook. They're like, it's a bear, you know, um, like two streets over from us. But they said they call Florida Wildlife Police, blah, blah, blah. So we're thinking it's taken care of. My neighbor that just had the baby, she was taking a walk. She called me just now because um, one of her little girls is down here playing with Ashton. She was like, can you please bring the girls inside? And I'm trying to call LaShawn husband to come pick me up because... One of the neighbors just said the bear is out and she like looking at the bear, like the bear. Oh my gosh. So Daryl was outside with the girl. So Daryl took my vehicle to go get her. Um, and I brought the girls inside because he was like, they, you know, the bear can cut through the house. It's not everybody has fences or whatever. But yeah, uh -huh. this thing is like, I'm like, it's daytime. I thought they come out in the night. But yeah, I ain't, uh -uh. And kids is outside playing or whatever. I think they just cut through because it's on the back street, like right behind us. Yeah, seriously. I'm like, I don't see it. You gonna have to sacrifice yourself. <laughs> I'm quite sure, Daryl. He's talking. Yeah, let me go ride around so I can see this bear. I said, yeah, go pick Jay. Is it? It's a black bear, a big are black bears bear. Are more scared of us though than we are of them? Well, we'll see what happens. You know that the scared people don't start feeding them, so they not. As afraid of us as they, I don't know, but like so, in more of the rural areas, you know, they have bears all the time. But now they're doing. Remember, I told you they're building a lot of apartments and stuff out here, so they're cutting down a lot of these woods and stuff. So I guess they're coming in this area, and our front gate is broken. That's usually closed. That's <laughs> so when the neighbor said, "See, you left the gate open because it's broken. Now look, <laughs> the bear done got inside." Oh and my I'm like, okay, well, they need to get out. Like, just, you know, the white people, oh, this, you know, they have no home to go to anymore and stuff. Well, they need it. Well, can y'all leave them out of here? Well, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, leave them outside of this perimeter because uh -huh. I don't need to be uh, coming outside one morning, open the garage, and that thing's, yeah. So Daryl said when he saw him just now, he's eating somebody's garbage. I'm <laughs> oh my goodness but okay i see he got my neighbor jay i'm glad she ain't had a baby with her either because oh but i need to know how we can see this bear well trish is not gonna freaking <laughs> <I know. laughs> unless i got the house up like the windows open the back unless the cut did his back in the backyard <laughs> I can't go on. I need to see this bear by tonight. Wait, did the bear get loose from like the zoo or something or what? They're just out. I mean, you know, I like I said, a lot of these I areas. Did. I did. I saw one long Snakes, time I thought ago. I thought, I thought Florida has reptiles and shit, not bears. I never seen a bear in Florida. I've seen plenty of bears where I grew up, you know. In PA, in the suburbs, for sure. There was even a bear in Philly, like in the city one time. But I never knew Florida had bears like that. You I got a picture of it. I asked Daryl. Oh, I said, you got a picture of it? He was like, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah, of did. course. Show us. Send it. Send it. Well, I think it's late. It. She's coming tomorrow. It's coming tomorrow. Oh no, Ashley asking why her first time. Go home. 
<laughs> Wait, why Y'all can't to, play outside. Why does the little girl have to go home because of the bear? Oh, I think her mom just, maybe her mom just like, this oh, because he's be like, yeah, and this, they so bear, hard, like, this can, bear better be vicious. It's like when it gets dark, you know, typically I'll walk her because they're like one house over. So I'll like walk her to the sidewalk and she, you know, and the other parent comes out and we kind of, you know, just watch them walk. She probably like, mm -mm, they can't, she can't walk down to the night. <laughs> He said, uh uh, and you gotta come home because of the bear. I know. I know. Maybe she can come tomorrow, okay? Because yeah. The bear but is the bear gonna eat people? No. No. Not unless you intend it. Um, yeah. But bears are more yeah. scared of us, especially if they're not in like their natural habitat. It's probably a baby bear. As long as you're not trying to fuck, as long as you're not trying to mess with the cub, bears are, are fine. Yeah, I never knew I moved to Central Florida. Oh, come this way. Um, <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't think Central Florida. Yeah, I didn't think. I mean, I lived in Miami, but I didn't think Central Florida got bears. Yep, they're here. I like like I said, they used to be kind of like, like on the outskirts. Yeah, they used to be like more on the outskirts, you know, because I've seen them. Like, you know, if I had to venture out or whatever, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, girl, good thing you had a baby with you on your hair screen. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, you still order the wine? <laughs> yeah, I'm barely about to order. Oh, no, that's too much. I was on the phone, my earbuds in. Oh, yeah. I literally have off the corn bed. So I had just walked by there. Oh my god. Yeah, that was I thought they had taken care of that thing like well they need to ease it up out of here somewhere else. Cause... Huh? Oh <laughs> they're all stupid. That was crazy. Thought I hear dogs bark you that go back inside. <laughs> inside <laughs> the <pot. Bear. laughs> To see the oh my gosh, I was talking to her neighbor. She was like, I was just walking and she had her headphones in. So, you know, and a neighbor just happened to come out and was like, Oh, you may want to uh, go back home because that bear, the bear is still out. <laughs> what? <laughs> and next thing you know, she sees it like right, you know, in front of her. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, Ooh. you can't run. Girl, I would have had a fit. <laughs> I probably would have passed out. Like, you can't run oh. either. And I started to go for a walk too because it's like the sun not out, it's kind of breezy. And I was like, uh, uh, nah, you know, I'll just stay inside or whatever. But shoot, man, if I would have been walking, you talking about for the podcast, I've been walking this to y'all talking. That's like, <laughs> that would have been great. Yeah, like, like, <laughs> that would have been great footage. No, I'm just kidding. What, what, what would have been? If Trisha got ate by the bear. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. We don't want to be. If I saw the bear when I was on the podcast with y'all walking. <laughs> nah, we don't need that much content. We don't need content that bad. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my gosh. We need that content. <laughs> no, but I do oh. need the bear to be seen on camera. Yeah, from a safe yeah. distance, zoomed in. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> <laughs> Greg, you the one who lives in Gwinnett. You probably see a bear more than Trisha. I ain't seen no bear in person except at the damn zoo. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all probably got deer. Greg, why are you off camera now? Oh, because um, I yeah, it told me to leave Maybe and come back. Yeah, well, you better get back on camera, man. Right. Shit, look, nigga, I'm 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 always yeah, camera see. ready. Matter of fact, let me go get this um, uh, crack this, get this bottle of wine, and get you know loose yeah, for the Friday night. Review. Get loose. Yeah, yeah, but that way, um, you know, if you, you know, whoever's ready to to hang and chill, we can do some music video joints or something. You know what I mean? Some, we have uh, no friends. Shit, you know. 
Once you get old, when, you, when you get to a friends. certain point, fuck friends, yeah. nigga. We trying to get this money, nigga. What? When I, we're not when, friends? When, when, no, no. What I'm saying is outside of our circle, we a team, a unit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As far as, look, as what I mean is, like, when I was younger, I had, like, 30 so-called friends, and I was, you know, whatever. I wasn't successful. Bree, as, why as, didn't you wait till I plugged in my cart? Mm, okay. But yeah, friends become less important, you know, as you get older, as far as the, the 30, 40 friends, 50, it nah, narrows right, down. Right. Because those people that are whittled away, you know, was a, away. You, you found out they was really associate ass niggas that you thought was a friend. Yeah. The motherfuckers that's, that remained over time through thick and thin when shit was down and hopeless and bleak. Like, goddamn, this motherfucker was really. They're by my side through a lot of shit. That's the ones that you realize those were the friends. You know. Over, yeah, I don't over. have too many. I, I don't like I have a lot of acquaintances I do because I've lived a lot of places, but I only have technically like four friends. These girls that I went to high school with, they be having these huge weddings. I'm like, bruh, my wedding is gonna be like five girls, maybe four. Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah. You know I mean, what I'm saying? Trying to have like all these people there that half of the motherfuckers is hating on you. I don't even trust people that have a lot of friends. People that have a lot of friends are weird to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. girl. You know, crazy. What I mean? Like, like, what are you... like okay. these so, girls be having eight to twelve bridesmaids. Yeah, and that shit that's crazy. At least, like, for my... a lot of people just find random people to be in their wedding because they want big weddings. Like the friends' wedding that I was in. She didn't even want like half of those girls at her wedding, but she wanted a big bridal party. Yeah, see, it's so a flex. It's a that. it's a mirage, an illusion. Well, that's that's wild. You know, like oh, the girl I was telling y'all about with the game oh, husband. that with the new net. No, Dre, that's not my. <laughs> no, name. she was not in that girl's wedding. Oh. No, the girl with the gay husband with the booty. Oh, yeah. I with don't... the long booty. No, the one that I said. We looked up the number and it was a Mexican boy on back page. Oh. That mm -hmm. wedding. Yeah. Ooh, hate it had to be her. Are they still married? I don't think so. Because she would always say, like, she about to divorce him, but I don't know. They, that was also another thing. She was saying because they paid for this whole wedding, everybody just went. Oh. And then nine months later, you doing all this stuff. So, like, they were trying to, like, well, she was trying to, like, not divorce him. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. Not cute. But yeah, you know. Finally at window. Finally. Yeah, she was in the drive through on the lawn. I know, but it's that that I'm impatient as hell. I would have left. Thank you. Thank you. Which one did you get, Jay? I got the um hold on. Hold on. This is like leaking. I got a black tea mango dragon fruit base with classic syrup. What? How does it taste? Bomb. I need you to take a picture of the ingredients so I can try it. Do you like tea? Yeah. I love their teas. Uh, I used to drink... Uh, Way more tea at at uh, Starbucks than I than I ever drank anything else. I always get the medicine ball. Yeah, it's basically the mango dragon fruit without the. I don't know what the base in that is, but it's basically that without the dragon fruit pieces. That's what my go to drink: the mango dragon fruit with a pump of classic syrup. I never. What is, this, like what, what is classic syrup? I never. Just Spot syrup. syrup. Oh, okay. It's basically sugar and water. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely trying to try that. Danny finna come uh, try some of this pasta. Is he like packing up? You ain't been over there in a while. 
Yeah, he's packing up. Remember I told you he's moving? Where's he moving to? Oh, my God. There's such this cute place. I can't wait to be over there. Um, it's called the Irby. It's high rise. Um, but it's big as I fuck. Like it's like apartment is already looked nice. Why is he moving? It is, girl. He's moving because he, uh, cause where he lives, they just, that's where Komodo is. And it's just really fucking annoying, girl. It's really annoying. Like they have the valet right in front of his apartment. So on like Friday, Saturdays, oh. and, Sunday, and sometimes big, busy Thursdays, you, you're waiting, like you're waiting for a valet to get in, to go into the garage. Yeah. Yeah, so he said that, and he said, that, like, it is a really popping area. He lives in, it's Deep Ellum. His building is, like, a luxury building in Deep Ellum, and the building is is bomb. It's amazing. Komodo is there. Harper's is there. Um, Lanetta, the new, Sp it's like a little, it's like where you live, kind of. Like, like, exactly that type of area. So, for him, but at least your shit, at least your house is right here, and then the shit is over here. No, his shit, it's like his apartment and the stuff, so... He was just like, I just want to move a little and, and just be out this mix because this shit is annoying. Wow, right there. Oh, I can't flip it. Over there? No, my house is in there, but that was the front door that I just showed you. I'm going through the back. But yeah, so that's why. So much going on. Oh, the game finna come on now, or it's oh my god, seven. that London L reaction was so funny. Like my cheeks and stomach was hurting, and I had tears coming out. No, same. Dre was so good. London L's. <laughs> and Tanya is just like she basically was oh trying god. to talk like this. Girl, the boy that I told y'all crush on a six, he's walking to the trash right now. Wait, the boy who was a what? The boy I had a crush on in sixth grade is walking to the trash right now. Oh, shit. Y'all live by each other? Remember uh, my friend told me that uh, she... Or oh, yeah, that's right. Me. Yeah, is he cute Imagine. or what? He kind of looked like a black Justin Bieber. Okay. He not cute no more, clearly. Oh, damn. <laughs> I hate those ones that were so freaking cute in middle school, high school, and then like, bro, what happened? I say I hate them. <laughs> I'm crying. You ain't shit. I want to see what house he's in. I'm gonna act like I'm fixing my. <laughs> Nigga said why. <laughs> uh, Lil Mitch <laughs> confirms that he's dating Summer Walker. Should he like? Oh, like, he did confirm it finally. I don't like that couple. That's not cute to me. Summer Walker is a big girl. Meech is little as fuck. Meech is like my height. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> He's short as fuck. <laughs> he just got money. That's it. Mm -hmm. And really, I don't even know how much money he really has because he ran off on that jeweler. Why is this car making this noise like this? I don't know, this is normal. Ooh, I just saw Brandon. Jackson. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
No, he was just taking out the trash. Let me do my review. Where is my selfie stick? Can y'all hear me? Hello? Huh? Y'all can hear me? Yeah. Did not know precious was here. Got me. All right. Mm. Cookie time. Okay. Ponderosa. Where's my pen? Put my thing you can do. Do I gotta rip it? They locked it. All right, so I got this. I got her. I can smell them just oozing out. And I got her. And I just happened to go on the perfect day because I got this one and this one for free, 99. And then Her. Should I do ice cream cake or should I do gelato? Yeah, let's do ice cream cake. Mm. So there's a company called Mems Motors, which is a black auto company in Detroit, Michigan. Why is this doing this? No. Oh. Look at how dead this one is. Well, actually, you can't really tell, but there's nothing in there compared to bruh. Yeah, what about? Is it hitting? I just haven't used my pen in a long time because I haven't been able to go to the dispensary. Oh. But I'm about to eat this cookie. And this is by Big Pete Cookies That Treat You Right. 10 milligrams per cookie. But good. Y'all even looking at my cookie. I'm looking at it. Oh, you can't taste it. This tastes like Chips Ahoy. Nice. That's kind of dangerous. Well, why you say that? You think that somebody might try to eat more of them because they taste that good? <laughs> My first edible, I was knocked out too. Well, we about to see. So, yeah, we're Brie having some worse. camera issues. To me, they'd be worse. 
You hear? Was well, Bree talking? Yeah, Bree talking. Oh, cause I don't hear Bree. <laughs> All right, let me drop it. Come back in. Bree. All right, yeah. Let me drop it. Come back in. In the fifth, fifth or sixth round, he works. He worked really hard this off season. Yeah, my bad if I was talking over you, Bree. I didn't even know you was. Uh, I I I didn't hear you for a second. Then I did hear you. Uh, but I don't know. He didn't even go to. Holy shit! The Lions, uh, they suck. The Lions need to do something different. Why is it, Crown, why is the draft only on the second round? What the hell? I thought the first and second round was yesterday. They have they have the first day just for the first round? I didn't, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they just do uh, first round, first day. Oh. And I think they do, then they do the next two rounds, and then I think they finish tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, today's two and three. Ain't no, ain't no way they can do more than one, man. You You'll be there all night. One round to what? Three hours, four hours? Oh my God! Did I haven't watched the NFL draft and in, in, since like man, twenty seventeen, I think. But yeah, I think it came on like what at seven, and then I think it, they were done at ten, maybe. Damn! I didn't realize they would use a whole day for the first round. How many picks is it? Oh, uh, you got thirty. Get everybody's special highlights. Yeah, you got what? 30, 32 teams, right? Oh, 30, man. Well, that's teams. bullshit. That's why then, because they'd be making it a big, bigger deal and shit. Because they could yeah, finish. I think, like, that is a big like, deal. I First think. round is crazy. No, it is. Yeah, but right. I'm saying, like, three hours for 32 yeah, I picks? Get, I think the teams get 10 minutes uh, a pick in the first yeah, round. Yeah, and then you have to think they negotiating, too, in between those. No, nah, they. No, they not. They not. No, no, they don't. Yeah. Until so, they show up. Uh, so, when I, I, I maybe um, it's been a long time since I seen a draft, but them niggas don't be in them on. That's why they be on the phones. Don't them niggas be negotiating like last minute? So and so is supposed to go number three to say I don't know that, the Giants, but yeah. then Adele got struck and now he going number five to whatever team the nigga might have really either wanted or the team yeah, that I really. Mean, my that bad. If you get, that if you get teams that saying they gonna trade, but most a lot of those teams like they already know who they're gonna pick unless somebody offer them something different, or you got a team that's gonna pick for you. That's what they probably be talking about. Like, all right, what pick you gonna give me? Because you know, because I think a couple teams moved up to draft a player. That's just like Texans. The Texans got the number two pick already. They traded right back and got the number three pick. Like, right when they got their number two pick. So, that's the only time. But they yeah, don't, they just they don't debate the picks, right? And they can trade yeah. the picks. And then you you kind of know, like, I think from what I've read before, all the picks get – you got they get paid on a, on a certain, like, scale. Like, you're going to get paid this amount of money according to what first-round draft pick get. You know what I'm saying? I, I think they only be negotiating how much – like guaranteed money you're gonna get. Yeah, no, you're right, Crown, because Randy, my goddaughter's mom, um, goddaughter's dad, he was supposed to go in the first he was supposed to go first round, like second pick. And man, he lost money getting dropped yeah. down to the eighth eighth pick because he came up hot during the combine. Oh yeah, they yeah they definitely. I think the the dude from Georgia lost a lot of money because you know he was involved in that accident thing. Oh shit! What round did he? Well, I mean, not round, but what pick did he end up going? He ended up going like nine, but you know they had him going like top two or three. Whatever came out about that, it, it, was it his fault? Was he was it the drunk white lady that he was with, or his fault? Oh, I don't know who fault it was. I ain't even really did nothing deep into it. Yeah, that was the one that they were racing, right? And then the guy died in the other car. Yeah, I think the lady and the guy 
the lady and the other football player died. Oh, shit, the lady died too? Yeah, I think it was like two of them. One of the players and and the lady that was the assistant coach or whatever. Yeah, she, she tripped <laughs> no, out for that. Recruiting, recruiting coach or something. Yeah, she was. Yeah. yeah, she tripped out for that. Yeah, my Eagles got some good picks. I'm ready. Oh, yeah. They got all the guys from Georgia, look like. Yeah, they did. Bulldogs, baby. Need to do something about that secondary. What do you say? I said they need to do something about that secondary. Right. They gave up our... Why did why is it saying skip ads? Stop. Damn, the Raiders suck. They didn't even have a first round pick in 2022. <laughs> Raiders, y'all need somebody. Y'all nep y'all ain't been good since God knows when. When we gonna see that bear? <laughs> Girl, what? We not finna see the bear. <laughs> Trisha, has, Trisha is not risking her life to show us shit. Yawn. Football is boring unless it's a game. I can't. Like, I could watch the NBA. Watch the yeah, it's so boring. No, I, I, girl, I used to try to, I used to watch it all the time back in college, but I guess it was because I actually knew who the fuck was going then. These young niggas, I'm like, who is this? I just need to watch tomorrow to see if Bree goes because I know his ass ain't going to tell me. So today's two and three, and tomorrow's four, four and five, or what? Yeah, it's because they do all this talking. Like, just say who the pick is going to be and go. These kids look so like my like our age. It's crazy, like how times have changed. They look so grown. I know I didn't look that grown. They don't look grown to me. Oh my god, they look grown to me. I I, I feel like I look like an infant at that age. At, at when I was their age, coming out of college, I still look young. I mean, granted, I do have a bit a, a, a younger face because I have big cheeks, but like even my little cousin that's twenty two, bitch, look older than me. Not even, I don't even know why I still call her my little cousin, but damn, my mom ain't calling me. What's up with her? That's weird. I thought she called you earlier. Yeah, she did earlier, earlier, but she usually calls me like 6.30 my time, 7.30 her time. Oh, well. I'm going to text her and make sure she's good. She probably called my, my name. guy ended. I ended at. I was still going. Can't be. Ooh, he's fine. Who is that? It's at four sixteen ten. Bruh, we're going to four twenty on Monday. I should have kept that four eighteen and swung it and had some real I mean, balls. Might drop it so they can wait for Apple to take it to four twenty. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn, the Rams were five and twelve last season. Damn, I didn't know them niggas was that bad. What? Oh, there you go. Oh, there's the head, Shay. <laughs> that is not gonna hurt nobody. They need to be worried about the mama. 
That you don't think that's the mom? No, that's a little bear. Well, it's walking on its fours when it go when it goes up is when you really can tell, I think. I don't know. All I know is they taught us in Girl Scouts that the bear is not scared of us. It's I mean scared of we're not we shouldn't be scared of the bear, it's scared of us. And just don't scream or run. I don't know where them little Girl Scout girls been at. I need some thin mints. I thought they usually come out at this time. Oh no, that's big. That might be the mom. I don't think it's a baby. <laughs> only in only in Florida, bro. The craziest shit be happening out there. Where is the crocodile that. In in Miami, in the Everglades. Fuck that girl. You don't want to see no fucking crocodile. Holy shit. Now that now that nigga will eat you. Can you imagine just being stuck in the stomach? In the neighborhood. Uh huh? How <coughs> You're glitchy. You Hello? No, it's glitchy. Bro, why is your 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 shit has been terrible today? My heard now. No, says still. Okay, what about now? Yes. Oh my god, is that good? Damn, he's 332? Oh, he a big boy. Alright, I just gotta that, lean this way, I guess. That nigga big? Holy shit, 332. They gonna make him lose weight in the league, though. Well, shit, doing all them hard-ass practices every day. He going to lose that naturally the way they work. They're going to work his ass. Yeah, but the league doesn't like their linemen. That's why, um, what's his name lost weight? Um, uh, not, not spicy, spicy's brother. Oh my God. How could I just forget his name? Who, Jason? Uh, yeah, Jason Kells. Yeah, they made him lose weight. Yeah, the, the bear is large for sure. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> like, bruh, Texas, I mean, Florida is just un. <laughs> I don't like that they doing the bear like that. Yeah, they need to call the uh, wildlife check. Uh, right, Florida. The uh, police will shoot him. Yeah, the police will shoot him, but but the wildlife people will too, girl. But with the like the euthanizer thing. <laughs> yeah, I need the bear to get back to where it's supposed to be safely. I know, poor the thing. Night Rider would have been trying to eat it. Oh, he eats bear. <laughs> Remember he was pronouncing something wrong, and then somebody was like, "It's not bear, it's something." And he was like, "Oh, oh, the the venison." He thought venison was bear. Oh yeah, <laughs> fucking idiot! Like venison is fucking deer meat, bro. Why do you have your shirt off? Come on now. I'm crying. He eats bear. Damn, he went crazy in 2022. Okay, I see you, my boy. Get your coins. Um, I, b bitch, I did not know the nigga ate bear. He did. I mean, I just feel like he would. I mean, after eating chicken heart shit, you're right. He probably would. Not the Cardinals player on hinge with his tongue out and it's not clean. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> It'd be the ones that don't play often. 
Yeah, there were so many XFL players, girl, on Hinge from out like out here because like uh, the XFL has um, like Dallas, like Arlington is where they put their teams. Even if you play for like the St. Louis, whatever, or the Houston, whatever, in the XFL, you stay in Arlington. So yeah, they're all on Hinge. She said her British neighbor is tracking the bear around the neighborhood. Leave the bear alone. <laughs> the one, the one neighbor has a British. <laughs> Tell her we want to talk to her. We're, we're from the country. <laughs> she probably had flashbacks. Right. She's probably, she's probably like, is their accent real? Bro, it's sad. It don't be no black folks in these fucking draft rooms. But yet the whole team be black. Shit's crazy. Look at the tongue I just posted. Ew! That's disgusting. No. His proudest moment, why? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to. I know, I should have just. You should have just what? <clears throat> I should have just uh, stayed with my ex. <laughs> Bad out here. Well, yeah, but. Like I said, I'm not trying to speak neg negatively on it, but. Well, what's wrong with it? Nothing. I think he cares about me. I'm just like, ugh, it's just it's weird sometimes. Oh my god. Automatic X if you got on Chelsea boots. Yes, literally. Um lost me with the purse. Why you got a purse on? Yeah, unless it's a shoulder bag, bye. Are you talking about the fanning pack thing? Yeah. Bruh, like, the niggas that be having all their friends and, the, and with them is hilarious. These niggas be like, I'm going to the league. <laughs> Three teen? Oh my god. The <laughs> In the the neighborhood across the street, we saw it go over there like good. Uh, <laughs> good. It was so funny. So like this one so you know, we talking to like some of the black neighbors we know or whatever. And uh then his white neighbor comes by his late, you know, like she been following the, the bear all around the neighborhood. She like the bear watch. And then she starts talking, she pulls it, you know, rolls down her window to us and she's like you see that bad? The, I can't do the British accent. We can't do the British accent. You, you see the bad? Yeah. <laughs> you see the bad? The oh, my gosh. Bad. I started cracking up because y'all was just doing that accent all the afternoon. <laughs> you should have asked her if her accent was real or she was joking. She was joking. Oh, my gosh. She said she wouldn't have that accent. <laughs> We're like, yeah, we know. We, we, we know, so. Yeah, I guess I feel it, like it, so. you're having like it, I feel like we all asleep right now and we're inside your dream. <laughs> no. Because why is there a British lady in Orlando following the <laughs> loose bear? Exactly. Oh, like, like where does that happen at? Like <laughs> Oh my gosh. And so there's this other black guy, he was like, Yeah, <laughs> the bear ate somebody trash and then took a dump. <laughs> what? Yeah. I was like, I was, I was like, the bear been in here all day. Like, ain't never come, you know. Get... <laughs> oh my gosh, me and my husband was just laughing. Like, this is. <laughs> now I'm sitting in the car. He said, "Let me run up to public to the liquor store." He said, "I gotta get something to drink." <laughs> You're sitting in the car. Yeah, me and Ashley, because Ashley, she wanted to see the bear. Where's your son at? <laughs> yeah, home. PSI. Home. 
Yeah. Girl, you know, he be in the room, you know, teenagers, they be in the room on their game. I don't think he even know about the beer. <laughs> I'd be so mad if y'all didn't tell me. <laughs> he inside for the day, but... But yeah, my neighbor, she was like, yeah, I was walking. Oh, so when my husband's riding around the neighborhood, mm-hmm. after he picked up our one neighbor, he saw... Uh, hello? Yeah. Bree, can you hear Trisha? No. Oh, you couldn't hear me? No, that's why I came out. I figured you were talking to her. Oh. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, I couldn't hear you. Yeah. Shay, can you hear me? I think it's me. Yeah, it's yeah, it's you. Come back in it. Come out. Come mm-hmm. back in there. Bleh, bleh, bleh. I think if you got, because I got a phone call earlier and it messed it up. I think if you get a phone call, it like fucks it up. I can hear y'all perfectly now. Yeah, Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying it does that like when you get a phone call, it's weird. At least for me, it does that. Why why does it keep bringing up ads? Oh, now now I'm on video. This dude look like Lil Uzi. Oh my God! I gotta post this for Dre. Little, little, little Uzi. <laughs> Cause these braids are crazy. Little Dre, look, at this. look at these braids I'm about to. Put Dre, in. where are you at? Supposed to be sipping and drinking on. Oh yeah, camera. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to go get that shit in a minute. Like I said, I just gotta educate these Mexican niggas on. What's all, Dre, you're still, you still arguing with them? What? The, no, he's still thinking of his response. No, no, I, I done hit this nigga with like eight fucking boom, 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 boom. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, let me see Lil Oosley. It's about to post right now. Lil Oosley. Look at his braids. Let me see. Where's his braids? Oh Where's my! His braids? Bruh, they don't have no hair. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, I don't see. You must have put it in the um chat. You put it in the it's chat. In the and I hate that his, his Travis's look fake because he's using the. They don't like those red laces look corny with the Travis's. He looked like Get Out, but with Lil Oozly mixed in. Ooh, Lil Oozly. <laughs> he gonna send me three smoke faces and, a, and eyeballs. Bye. Yeah, that's a no for me. He can't even dress. Bruh, these dudes are big. Poof. Give him... Oh, this dude from Louisiana. Southern hospitality. Oh, no. Oh, no. Who do you think you are? Yeah, there's just one that kept messaging me on there. I'm like, dude, please just stop messaging me. You can unmute them so they can't message you. Oh, I'm like, cause you already said you're looking for. No crown, I'm not hating on the South, but he said he's looking for non-monogamy. And he said, but if you basically appease to him, he that you could be his partner and fuck shit up instead of partner in crime. <laughs> and I don't have time for that because that's weird. So this guy said to me, he keeps hitting me up and I said, you're. I said, you need to be on Tinder. The guy that said that he was looking for friendships or whatever, he's like, why? He's like, in reality, I don't. In all honesty, I met friends on here before, but I understand where you're coming from. 
and I didn't respond and he, and he sent me a question mark and I said, friends on here is crazy. And he said, you're right. Oh, and then he said that he was, that he asked for my IG and I didn't give it. And I was like, you didn't ask for my IG. And I was like, and, and he was like, you're right. I thought I did. Well, what is it that you're looking for then? Didn't respond. He sent a question mark. I said, not friends. And he said, so you're looking for a relationship? I mean, it starts with a friendship first. I'm not opposed to the idea of dating and finding a woman to be with, but I'm not rushing either for my own personal goals. So, I mean, we can go on a date and continue to build a friendship and have honest conversation about what's next if there's a connection to build upon. But if it's not, and I still think that there is commality, then I'm not just going to go. So I would think the friendship could remain intact. That's all I meant. But my IG is Byron got the juice. If you change your mind and open to what I was talking about. Okay. Why did you write that? Can you that? send that all in one message? Yes. It's a no for me. Yeah. No, it's been a no, but it's just like, I don't know why he wrote re- wrote all that. But I'm giving one word answers. Dre looking at cookie dough is so funny. Like, that needs to be the thumbnail. It really does. Dang, does everybody got a dog except me? Shit. Yep. I ain't got no dog. Oh, all these dog pictures. like No, I girl, because you're on Hinge and it's dog. single people. Single people got a lot of dogs during COVID. Oh, yeah, I did hear that. Yeah. Damn, he's fine for an old man. That's salt and pepper. Not this dude putting his coochie okay, out. Looking- Bro, this dude got his coochie out on him. Wait, what? Hit- Wait, a man has their coochie out? Yes. It's just hella, like, sweet. <clears throat> well, niggas love those coochie daddy, hoochie daddy shorts. No, that's not. This is side coochie. I just sent it to your phone. What? It's just like, why are you pulling it down to show your coochie lips? Ew, and I can't. He, I don't, like, I hate that beaded chest hairs. Oh, yeah, the, the nappy <laughs> chest hair. <laughs> yeah, chest like, hairs? nigga, like, wax that shit or shave it. Come on. Beaded chest hairs is hilarious. <laughs> like the beaded chest hair is just, I can't. I can't. But are they doing that or does it? Gr- oh, I think I went to middle school with him. Like Austin, my ex has hair on his chest, like a little bit, but it's like, like, like it's hair. It's not like little. But do they make it beaded with a sponge or does it just grow like that? No, some of them just grows like that. Austin, Austin's mom has, um, the, he's black, completely black, but somewhere in his family, is like uh, white somewhere. Like I think like his mom's 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 dad or some shit like that. And um, uh, so he ha- Austin has curly hair, like like a little bit probably more coarse than mine. But some people, if if you have really like you know coarse hair, that's how your hair grows. Damn. I don't uh, hmm. I don't date men with beards, so they usually like don't have a lot of body hair like that. So Girl, I've never seen, like, uh, Danny has a lot of body hair because he's African, and we're gonna have to have that conversation if we do get serious. Serious. Why would you make him do? Th- Bray, press the button. Abort. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, um, Bree, why do you feel like you need to not have a hairless partner? Girl, I don't like hair, and if it, and, and and even if you're a clean person, you have to be extra clean with hair. So if he hairy, then move on. Then if that's your poor pet peeve, <laughs> it's I not. Mean, a, she could tell him about it. No, it's not a like, pet. Exactly, it's not like a pet. But peeve. it's like, like weird to tell somebody like you got too much hair. It is. Yes. Even if he's my man, at some point. I mean, like, how would you approach the conversation? Like, let's like let let me wax you. <laughs> is the. 
girl, all Nigerians are hairy. It sucks. No, I know a lot of Nigerians, but I mean, I see my friend without a shirt off. This other guy that likes me too, Rashid, he like, girl, he's actually like a very good looking dude, like 6'4", has real estate, nice crib, but he's just so hairy. What is like? What is hairy though? I feel it through your shirt. Like you're wearing a white. You're wearing a. You're wearing a white tee. You're wearing a wife beater, and it's like popping out at the top of your shirt. Shut up. Let's post a picture right now. Okay. I was gonna wait at the seams like that. But bitch, <laughs> these these dudes are hairy. That's Team Wolf vibes. Girl, Niger- some Nigerians are, like, so- most are very, very hairy, girl. Actually, I'm not surprised, because all their beards be down their necks. Yeah. What's his name has a good beard? Danny has a good beard. Sheed has a good beard. I'm about to send you his page right I now. I don't know. If- Danny, when you showed his coochie print, and his beard didn't look, like, like annoyingly full. It looked like, like, you know. Like me, like you telling me he's hairy shocks me. No, he cut, he cut it, girl. He cut it. It used to be really long. He cut it. What? Yes, his beard was long. He actually looks good with it longer, but um, you can't tell Sheed. Okay, kinda. No, he doesn't have. Leave them essays alone. I know, right? All right, yeah, yeah. I know you are not talking. I know, right? All right, all right. Let me get this one. I'm about to close out this whole Twitter because these niggas will get me into a thing. If I, you know, Dre, Dre, you're Dre, going down a spiral your, right now. Dre, yeah. post your PowerPoint and log off. Just post it and, and say I'm logging off. The, yeah. Well, see, and this ain't this ain't even the devil. This is like I said, that devil PowerPoint is like forty slides deep. I, like nigga, when I come with that shit for these crackers, it's about to be a wrap on the ass. That's gonna be well, like. What are they saying to you? Nah, nah. The nigga tried to. All right, let me get the wine and then I'm gonna. I'll be right back. Because I need to know what got you typing like Jim Carrey. And quiet for the last hour. Right. (laughs) Okay, but yeah, back to that. Yeah, it's just... Man. I don't know. Austin shaved when it got... like I, I like that. Like Some girls might think that's fruity, but I just don't like hair. No, I don't. I just... It's not that I don't like hair. I just don't like beards. And usually when you don't have a beard, you don't have body hair. So, like I said, I'm not used to, like, having a hairy man at all. I'm not really either, girl. Like I said, Austin took care oh, of his yeah, shit. Ex, he got his baby face. Yes. And even my ex before that has a baby face. Rashad, the dude that I that I told y'all about that be texting me sometimes from Georgia that we met in Miami. Yes, girl. He, he actually would be like, what can I do to grow my beard? Because I'm not yeah. into beards like that either. Because... I mean, growing up in Philly and growing up around a lot of Muslims, it just, I, I just, I didn't, I don't like a lot of facial hair. And I used to date this guy <laughs> in high school and he made me break out once from his beard. Oh, I'm I say that. so. Dre no, but like, I do really care. Beard. I do like Danny. Like, it's not going to like make me like, I, I, like I'm saying it to y'all because y'all are my peoples. But like, if it, if it does get to a point where obviously it bothers me that bad, I'm going to say something, but he is very hairy for sure. Is it like a unkept hairy as far as like body? Because you know, they'd be like trimming and stuff. Yeah, like kind of like I don't think anybody's ever like kind of told him, like, you know, because he lived in Nigeria up until like really seven years ago. Oh. He's so trying. why you ain't on camera, Smo? Me and uh, Bree on camera. You ain't even on camera, Dre. I'm on camera. Yeah, you're not either. I'm on I camera. see that purpley shit. And I know you ain't talking. You just been typing to the essays for the past two hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm on camera now. I don't see it. Come back in. Or maybe it's me. Hang on. No, it's him. It's you, Drake, because it's just showing the PlayStation. So are you saying you on camera too? (laughs) No, I'm about to... um, I'm getting my chapstick. I'm about to log out, come back in, because your camera... Where is my chapstick? Oh, damn, the battery. I don't see, Dre. Why is it purple? Okay, there we go. The hell is that? The cork from the uh, wine. I know I have, my grandmother has one too, and my mom, they love it. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to go to Bed Bath & Beyond tomorrow and see what I can get for my apartment because everything's so fucking cheap. So they really about to go out of business. Yeah, my mom said the one in, one by the house is closing. But yeah, yeah, the thing that had got me... Um, They're all closing. Hype was this nigga saying some slick shit about, you know... Blacks during um Jim Crow passing as Hispanic to um you know avoid being lynched and all that type of shit, which I'm sure that was the case, but the way he was presenting it, it was still kind of in a slick mouth ass way, like nigga. Pull what? it up, Dre. Pull it up on the screen. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I, wanna... yeah, I am. I want to see um, <laughs> what happened. Um, yeah, because you were like, I know how that be when you're trying to like be, but you were really like being. How are you going to call this tea and you ain't showing no tea? I thought you didn't want pizza. I didn't, and we were talking about it, so I had to make it. Oh my goodness. I know, I'm going to see if I want some pizza too, Loki. I mean, he wants his pasta, but I really want pizza. And Pull up, Dre, pull it up. Hmm. A little fancy, uh... All right. So, yeah, let me... My hair is so frizzy. Hang on, I got to pee. Oh my god, this dude said dating me is like dating Helen Keller. Why would you say that? He said, blind, blind. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so boom. Let me bring this over. I can see I'm blind, blind, blind. <laughs> I can see I'm blind. Hey, big air boy, what are you doing? I know you have to go potty and stop right. You can go out now. You go potty? You go potty? Thank you, boy. So, um, you see the screen or... Uh, I, I can't see. I'm blind. Blind. No, I don't see it, Dre. No, it's just you. Yeah. It's just you, bugaboo. A bugaboo. Mm. All right. Let something me... bit me or something. What the fuck? What the red? Uh, Not... uh, all right, let me do this. All right, so boom. I'm about to drag... This shit back over there. So yeah, now you should be able to see it. So this guy was talking about racial passing in the Jim Crow era is a much discussed subject, but it's rarely mentioned that black people often pass by pretending to be Latin American, pretending to be Cuban, Mexican, Spanish to get around Jim Crow was a thing. And it's like, okay, like, what are you saying that to say? Because the reality is all of these people look just like me, you, and Shay. 
different degrees of red from dark red, which people call brown skin, which is that darker, closer to bronze color, all the way down to, to brie color. But we all still the same people. And just based on where you might have been um, enslaved at, is the only reason why your ass is speaking Spanish versus the niggas in Haiti speaking French versus the niggas in uh, Brazil speaking Portuguese versus the other niggas speaking whatever the fuck they speak. We all the same goddamn people. All three of us right now, which, you know, whenever Bree slide back on camera, if they was to drop Bree off in goddamn Venezuela, Chile, Argentina, and she started, you know, speaking that shit, you wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to build. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, they asked me if I was Braziliana too in Miami. And I was like, I look Brazilian. They were like, that's yeah. What, that's this is what I'm trying to get at. They wouldn't be able to distinguish you from a, a, a um, resident or however the fuck you want to say, a citizen of any of them goddamn countries. Point blank, period. And that, and don't freaking shake. Yeah, no, you know, I know. You know they I mean? And the same, the same with Bree. I mean, the, them. The same with uh Shay. The same with me. God damn it. <laughs> Wherever the hell, if we was dropped off there or lived there, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them niggas ain't gonna know. They gonna think that we was always from wherever there is because it's the same fucking people. The only difference is, is how many um, generations of mulatto was into bred into that original ancestor back in the day. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So you heard the, you know, like you got mulatto, which is a, a direct one on one black white or black Caucasian, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, whatever. But then you have what they say, uh quadroon, which is now four different you no know, mixtures, and then you got octoroons. <laughs> so it's just how many wait, you um you on mute, Bree. She must be on a phone call. Oh I am on mute. I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I figured. No, 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 no. I, I'm not on the phone call. I was saying, damn, what is that? An octo? Wait, what'd you say? Yeah, so I'm going to pull that up on screen as well. Let me just see what these niggas talk about. So... So, um, yeah, now I'm going to pull up the definitions to get the full breakdown. So first we're going to look at um, quadroon, which I think, I don't know if Abraham Lincoln was identified as quadroon, but let me see. So basically, oh, damn. Yeah, breed on, okay, you, you back. <laughs> He was going for a split second, but she, you were on mute. Yeah, I just didn't want it to be loud. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You walking down, you walking down that hallway where everything is amped up, right? <laughs> where it sound like. Oh, it's cold. So, boom, yeah, quadroon, a person who is one quarter black. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't know that was the name for that. Okay, so it does exist. Yeah. Because so, I know somebody whose mom is mixed, but their dad is white. So they're technically what? Yeah. 25% black, right? Exactly, a quadroon. 
So yeah, so now you a get it. Wow, so now, that's crazy. So, so now, if you look at a nigga like, um, uh, I'm I'm sure you could probably name some celebrities that not even quadroom. What's his name? What's we, his name? The dude, isn't he the guy on uh, Grey's Anatomy? The light Jesse, dude with right? The blue Jesse eyes? something. Jesse. Yeah, he's either quadroom or octoroon. Mom or dad is. Yeah, Jessica Alba, Vin Diesel. Oh shit! Vin Diesel has some black in him. Yeah, he's black. Yeah. The 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 white boy Wentworth Miller that was the star of that TV show on um, Prison Break. Oh wow! He's probably what? a he's probably a octoroon. You know what I mean? He has an eighth of wow. black. Yeah. Matter of fact, they said oh that. Oh my god! They, they said that Abraham Lincoln was uh, um, either a quadroon or octoroon. When he, during his presidency, okay, wait. The quad, the quadroom, the quadroom is twenty five percent black. What's the what's the other one? So basically, you have mulatto, which is basically half. Yeah, yeah, me, yeah. And then quadroon is twenty five percent, and then octoroon uh -huh. is one eighth black. What's the oct? Where's the one eighth coming from? So boom, your parents. Uh huh. The, that's the first two. Then you, if you was to marry or, you know, marry and have children with another white guy. Now your child, you are half black, but then that child would now be, I think, a fourth black. And then if he was the, he or she was to have another white mate, it further dilutes oh, the blackness yeah. to where they would only be one eighth black. What up? That's crazy. I never knew that. Yup. That's crazy. What up? Hang on, let me... Yep. Where's the rest of the story? Oh, I didn't even know you was there. I just see a uh, um, little image picture. I thought you was making some damn, uh, you know, getting half baked over there. <laughs> <laughs> no. I listened to the story to just stop. Mm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So now, nah, just the way the information was presented, I still felt it was kind of like slick. The, you know, like, okay, yeah, of course, the you know, ancestors to not get lynched and hung the fuck up or whatever, they're going to pass whatever they need to pass for. You know what I mean? Like, as if it's a um, a, a crime or something, or as if, if a nigga did, even if a nigga did, had to pass as Latino to not go through the bullshit at those time periods of the early 1900s. As if it was infringing upon their fucking uh, fake ass Latino space. You feel me? So that had me hot. So I had to give these niggas a little sauce on their fucking history. Like, nigga, there's no such thing as a Hispanic or Latino. It's a term designated by the United States government in 1970s, period. Since the 1850s, these Mexicans... Puerto Ricans, Cubans, and niggas from everywhere else in Central, Caribbean, South America coming into this bitch was given the white card, you know, over that, since 1850 to now, there's been, 
you know, huge chunks of years that when they would come in, they would be classified as white on paper legally. So if if you're able to see my screen, right? Yeah, I see it. So let me just drop a picture in here real quick. Don't be spelling nothing wrong today. <laughs> Shit, niggas, my my little um eight hundred followers know yeah, I may be lit, I may be drunk, but they know that even if some shit is misspelled, I got the 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 receipts as Shay say to back up everything that I'm dropping because you know I got a thousand tabs open of sources and links for your ass, and if yeah, it's and I, and, I, and I got them I got them dot gov links and all that shit. Oh well, you're just making it up, nigga. Oh no, well this is from the crackers oh my God. mouth telling you about the other crackers. Now shut the fuck up. Yeah, Shay's brother never came back. You scared him straight. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because he tried to get slick. He the reason why I'm 40 slides in on this devil um, history that I'm putting together. You know, obviously, y'all, you know, welcome to, you know, um, be part of that when I break the shit down. Because, you know, I ain't trying to read 40 slides. You know, y'all could take turns hitting certain slides with me. But that's going to be like a probably 30 part masterpiece over like, you know, time type shit. Oh, my God. 30. Oh, Nigga, we might, we might need a history channel deal after that shit. Like, you devils. This is where you come <laughs> from. And then I'm going to point on the map. This is right, right, right here. <laughs> uh, look, now I got to pull up the picture and shit. The little, this is going to be the thumbnail. Because, um, yeah, let me open that shit up. Shit, I, I got the thumbnail for the ass already. But I'm just saving it, you know. You know how um on a lot of these YouTube videos they have the the crazy expressions and shit, and the shit be looking crazy to get people to come to their little link. So yeah, just in case. Oh, he's fine. How tall are you? Ooh, oh, Hinge, uh, you found something. He got Bang. Kids. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, and his hair, he's a hat fish. It's a Oh, can't do it. So, Dre, what is the argument about? They're saying that uh, black people wanted to be Mexican back then? I don't know. That's what I kind of interpreted the shit as, which is why I had to just um, go in. Oh, yeah, so boom. Let me just get to this nigga's picture so I could drop it in here because now, you know, I'm on a whole other little uh wait so that's the dude that's a quadruple yeah quadroom and he's oh, what quadruple. does he what does he look like <laughs> he looked like he's damn near white or you're modern he could possibly be puerto rican he could be white yeah i thought that guy was white oh my this is, this god is the star prison right. break no i know that's what i'm saying i used to watch prison break all the time i had no idea he was a black or had some quadroom. yeah he's a quadroom yeah one, one eighth black no yeah. quadroom one he fourth he's one fourth black no no he, he's 25 he percent black that? mom yeah. or dad must be mixed yeah so um, his dad black like somewhere i see yeah. it in his forehead <laughs> i see it in you your know forehead who surprised me to be black is that uh that dude on the last episode, or not the last episode, it was a middle episode of Atlanta with the Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels was on the episode of Atlanta? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. Episode, oh, he was? I didn't know yeah, that either. On the episode, it was like one that was on that season, they were doing every episode about earning them, and in the middle, they were like, like You're glitching. On this episode. Can you hear me? No. Go back to the other side of the couch. Let me turn my thing off. Okay, there you okay. go. Can y'all hear me now? Yeah. Okay, so on this specific episode, because they were doing every other episode about the past of Atlanta, and then in between, they were doing, like, black and white history type stuff, like black history. Okay. So on this specific episode, it was this dude who I, I'm assuming is a quadroon. Dre, you could look him up. His name is Tariq 
and you could just put Tariq from Atlanta on Kevin Samuel's episode. Um, but on the show, I think he had a white name. He wore his hair like a white boy. And then um, he was like, I don't have no money to go to college. Da-da-da. And his white friends, because he only hung out with white boys. Uh-huh. And, um, they're like, oh, we're we're going here. We'll wop. So he's like, okay, I got to figure out how to go because my dad's not paying for it. His dad was full black in the show. So the dad was like, you need to like hang out with your people. Like you over here hanging out with your white girlfriend and your white friends. They don't care about you, stuff like that, whatever. Yeah. And um, then Kevin Samuels and them come up and he was like, oh, I used to go to this school. I'm rich now. I'm giving everybody a scholarship, but you got to be black. So right. then they said, want to be white dude in there. And they're like, okay, you got to take a black test. And he starts asking him like all these black questions and he didn't know anything. He's like, bro, you don't know your, like your heritage. Like what's going on? So ultimately he didn't get the scholarship. Um, all right. One minute. And, Let me... and, and why are you talking? What was the person's name again? His name, uh, his real name is Tariq. Cause when we found him, we was like, his real name is Tariq. Put Tariq Atlanta, Kevin Samuels episode. It's actually like quick. It's like a, probably 20 minute episode if you want to play it but um this guy right here yeah yeah but look at him on atlanta like he had long hair so they made him look like hella white and then the right so here, this you saying this nigga is he's mulatto or is he quadroon oh, or octoroon see, see sc- scroll down you see him his hands around that white girl in the black and white picture so, right here right there so that one in the picture next to it that's him at the beginning of the show and that's him at the end the picture to the right because he went through, um, I forgot what the beef was, but some kid got a scholarship and then he didn't. He's like, it's because of you. I didn't get it. A school shooting happened and they blamed him because he was black. And they're like, bro, no, you're not oh getting with this, you black. But um, and that nigga, he ended up losing. Oh, my bad. He ended up not being able to go to college and stuff like that. So they're saying like, okay, so look at how bad you want to be white and you still get in black punishment. So just be black. And then that's where he's at the end. And have, he just has more confidence overall. He's not insecure with himself. But go ahead, Dre. Now, so if you're looking at this guy's picture, just even looking at, like, even this <laughs> picture right here. So this guy is a direct mulatto. That's what you're saying. Well, I the dude you just showed us and him, they look the same type of brand to me. So I'm like, is he a quadroon? So let's ask... Tariq Withers. Because he's definitely black, but I thought he was half black, half white. He... And what was crazy was Kevin Samuels passed away, and then the next week they released this episode. And it was like, what the heck? All right, so boom. I'm just going to put, is him, he, black? And then it probably, you know, Give us a uh, a white mother and a black father. Boom. So he's a direct mulatto. Direct. Meaning black mother, white father, or, you know, whatever. Let me see. Let me go back. White mother, black father. So he's... So this well, I want to use this picture right here, but I want to use the a color picture because this picture right here gives us more of circling back to my South American Latino side shit with these devils. This nigga look like he could be Spanish, right? If he was to drop his ass off in the middle of anywhere down there. Am I mm. am I lying or am I flying? <laughs> like them Puerto Ricans or something. Matter of fact. I wonder if it'll just give me family. If I just put that in. Maybe they give us a whole picture, you know, with him and his both parents. Mm-mm. I'm about to um, play this clip. Family pick. How about that?
This nigga look like Mark Anthony, goddammit. Uh, Tito Puente's ass nigga. I but, just posted a link, Dre. All right. To the black eligibility. Oh, they look like twins right there. Who? The two people you had up. Black white parents. The majority of modern so called Latino slash Hispanics. Period, nigga. Fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm crying, period. So, before I get all the way off of this shit, just to, um, go back into the actual responses that led to the whole thing. So that's, I basically was breaking down that Mexicans traditionally seen themselves as white coming into the country because they've been coming to this motherfucker since 1850, pretty much after that Mexican war situation wrapped up. They were mm. given white cards as early as then. And then basically, um, the, the other piece I hit the nigga with was when the 1930 census classified Mexican-American as a race, leaders of the community protested basically strongly, and then the classification was changed back to white in the next census. So the nigga tried to come with some slick, slick shit talking about... Um, but, yeah, over a million Mexican-Americans was deported during the Great Depression. And then I had to hit them with, they had the law on their side. A federal district court ruled in this particular court case of Ricardo Rodriguez, 1896, that the Mexican-Americans were to be considered white for the purposes of citizenship. And Dre, then, why are you arguing with a picture of a beach? I know, right? Cause you oh, know, wait, ass, this is an informative page? Huh? So this is how the West was saved. Is this like a newsletter? I don't know, but I just had to, you know, air that shit out. And then he was talking about Mexicans can be white, but the ones that see themselves as white are generally mm -hmm. an admixture of Asian white, which makes them spicy. I was like, I ain't trying to hear that shit, nigga. Tell them you're not arguing with nobody that thinks Mexican is a race. Yeah, yeah. There's no such thing. And then two... If a motherfucker was really in touch with their real um, uh, culture, they would be identifying as either Mayan, Aztec, you know, and whatever other little, you know, uh, indigenous tribes that was down in that motherfucking area down there. You feel me? So if you ain't identifying as that and you hollering this Latino Hispanic shit, which still ties back to Europe and them crackers over there, it's still, it's either white, you identify as Spanish cracker or American cracker. Either way, you can't get past the cracker. You know what I'm saying? Fuck out of here, nigga. But, all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I keep, you know, I keep some shit on deck so if these are the 
quadrums at this point now I want to see what a octoroon look like. An octoroon palsy, H A L S E Y. You hear me? You said what? H A L S E Y. Whole C. Yeah, that's it. She's like an eighth black. You hear me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the little headlines or whatever. But let me find a better picture that don't look smoked out. <laughs> like, look like she done did some uh, fucking meth or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. I find a picture that do a little just... She almost looked like Khalees in this picture. A little bit like a lighter skin, Khalees. Mm, yeah. All right, which picture of her should I um use for my octoroon picture? That one, that one with the wet hair. Scroll down a little bit. Right there at the bottom with the clouds in the back. Up. Over to the left. Yeah. Right there. That's giving Michael Jackson a little bit. Okay, boom. Cool. Don't do no 16th of room because I don't know nobody that's 16th black. Yeah, yeah. At that point, them niggas is clear going. <laughs> <laughs> niggas ain't coming back. They niggas is like shit. But I did pull up this other joint here. Um, 38 um, mixed race celebrities who actually talked about their multiracial identity oh yeah she got a, a black dad i mean white dad like who the hell is this she's from blackish mm. zendaya got a white dad too i think mariah carey of course and tia and tamara What's up with this jacket? <laughs> I don't even know who that is. That looked like a Mexican Drake and Josh. Avon Jojia. Indian. English. Mm. Irish. 